Nice cock. I came here to drink milk and kick ass. And I've just finished my milk. I feel like I'm forgetting something. My retainer! I'm not wearing my retainer! How could I retain things? Okay. Here we go. Do you guys want to sniff it? Do you guys want to smell it? Burble! Burble! Yes! You did notice. You noticed that I, I did remember to change the color. It's your guys' month. It's your month right now. It's your month. Are you thriving? Are you guys thriving? Tiny, congratulations on the fantastic juicy fat cock. Hi, Ontario. Uh, here, let me drink some water. Hi, Thistle, welcome in. Hi, nerdy. Oh, to find a girl just like the girl who married dear old dad. What? What are you saying to me, Tiny? Purple, here, you wanna smell? That was the bottom one. Top one's worse, here. You're welcome. Anywho, how have you guys been? How was your last uh, week? That water was before the behind the scenes. Well, then you'll just have to trust that I drank it. I didn't. I was like up and about when you redeemed it. So. That's why I drank it then. One could say she was a pearl and the only girl that daddy ever had. What? Tiny's going through it. <laughs> no, I'm imagine. Um, hi August, welcome in. That retainer- that tasty retainer, yummy, right? Just got out of work? 
Hell fucking yeah! Let's go. You have any great evening plans? Post-work euphoria activating right now as we speak in August? The, the buzz of getting off? I truly am. No, we hate to hear that. Remember, I said it's your guys' month. Purple gang, it's your month. It's purple. Oh, I forgot to change my, uh... You guys won't see it. <laughs> but, um, on my computers, I changed the... Um... La la la... The colors? According to the month. I love doing that. That's why I have this frame that I change each month anyway. Where the hell is it? Personalization, colors. I would like a burble. Borble. Maybe a blue per borble. What is happening in my frames? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Damn. Fighting for its fucking life, changing the colors. Alright, go back. Uh, I would like to do ease of access. Mouse pointer. Borble. Okay, perfect. My frames! I saw that. Usually it's I like I see the notification. Milk um, ass. but no. That time I literally saw the frames <laughs> drop in front of my eyes. I was like, damn. I forgot I was gonna look at, um... Uh... Buh... Oh, I did do ten. Hmm... Oh, whatever. Anywho. Hi, Bowser. Welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate. Uh, shoot. I think I did my Duolingo. No, I didn't. I opened Duolingo. <laughs> then I closed it immediately after opening it. Tiny be doing the most, always. She's always on the grind. I think I have some foods. I'll check to see if I have some homework to do, though. If not, then lazy bones. Let's fucking go, August. I hope you don't have a uh, homework. Mood? Yeah. I don't know what we're mooding, but yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to get braces back in the day, but did I? No. I was supposed to get them when I was a kid. Like, they recommended, like, you should get braces. And uh, my dad was like, mm, I don't want to pay that money. And I was like, I don't want braces. So I didn't get them until I was older. Mi hermano no es bajo. Amanda, tu madre es muy inteligente. Mi esposa no es muy baja. But how was everybody's week? Tu hija es muy simpática. I literally haven't seen you guys in a week. Does that process to everybody? Because it doesn't to me. Feels like I was here lo like more recently than that. You know what I've been thinking? I've been thinking about that stream schedule. <laughs> I've been looking at it. Processing it. Thinking about it. Brain juices flowing about it. Gotta get braces after my wisdom teeth are out. I, you know what? I can't rag on them that much. At least the ones that I got, like... They were really, they were really good. It was nice not getting them, I think, when you were, like, 13. But I hope your wisdom teeth getting removed goes well as well. Mi hermano no es italiano. He is Italian. I said he isn't. My bad. Mi abuela no es inglesa. I got my wisdom teeth removed when I was, like, 19. Yeah, I think it was 19. It was, like, the month after I turned 19. I was, like... Get him out of there. Got him out during winter break. After yeah. semester. Rafael, tu hermana es muy simpática. Your sister's so, so nice. No, este hombre no es mi esposo. <laughs> this man is not my husband. That's funny. Como se llama tu esposa? I got one more. Tengo un abrigo amigo italiano. I don't have an Italian coat. I have an Italian friend. There is a difference. Practice complete. Bazamba. Thank you, Bowser. Um, that takes my streak up to 481. I stay winning. All right. Cool. We got one. Um, whatever they're called. Uh, daily quest. We got a daily quest done. I can recycle them? Reroll incomplete quests. That's kind of cute. I like that. No, these are okay. Oh, I didn't finish my friend's quest. Me and my friend failed. Terrible. I just tapped to speak fast and it skipped, but it said it was correct. That's weird. 
I completely lost track of time playing Minecraft. What were you doing? What biome were you in? That's pretty much all I know about Minecraft, is like the different biomes, maybe? But I don't know much about them, I'll be honest. But hi, Extra, welcome in. How has your week been? Nobody has told me how their week has been. I keep asking. I keep asking, and nobody has told me how their entire week has been without Zagbu. You didn't play Minecraft today? Do you play it every day? I was torturing villagers. Okay. It sounds like an extra kind of thing to do. I'm not- I'm not surprised. I'm not like shocked and appalled that extra has been over here being a menace to um, the poor, poor individuals living in the village. The villagers. What was I gonna do? Oh, I'm looking at my old frames. Yeah, I was getting real- I was getting real clever with these frames. I like them. April of last year was also purple. I think I'm kind of sticking with the same color palettes against Chaz's, Chaz's wishes. But I wanted to see what kind of purple it was, because I think it was different. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was the fucking same. I would like this to be muted. Finally presented in my class. Let's go. How'd it go? Let me do my duo and I'll get back to you. Okay, Tiny. Take your time. I do the super fastest version of Duolingo that I possibly can, just so I'm not sitting here doing Duolingo for 800 years, but um, I get that most of the time it takes longer. What is happening? Do not do that. No, I don't want the details. I wanted to see the video. Okay. Was terrible without your streams. That's what I want to hear, Extra. Thank you. That's what I've been fishing for. Since I uh, since I went live and I was like, how was everybody's week? I wanted every single one of you to be like, I was absolutely distraught without seeing you, Zagbu. I don't know how I made it through the week without you, Zagbu. I am just completely dependent on the three to four hours that you give me approximately one to three times a week. And without that, it was like not having oxygen, Zagbu. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Didn't even know you were gone. After I go on all this rag, Bowser freaking smacked me into my ass. Okay, cool. I did do my Duolingo. I showed you. I do it really fast. And by really fast, I mean like stupid fast. Uh, oh. I know. I know that Tiny's doing her streak right now. Boom! I know it's blurry because I have my focus off auto. But see, April 3rd. Bam. Streak continued. Streak continued. Look at that. Boom! Only two streak freezes in March. I'll take that. That's a win. Mom's spaghetti arms week. A part of me died when you didn't stream for a week, Zagbu. That's what I want to see. I want to see the codependence reeking off of your guys' messages. I want to be like- I want to- Yep, that's what I want to see. Not really. Don't worry. I'm glad you had a good week though, Bowser. I'm not gonna rag on that. Not much when I don't have online. You need online to play that, Antario? Like, for Xbox? My knees were weak, my arms were heavy. Oh, that's why August said. <laughs> but on the surface, I was calm and ready. You know what? Very funny. Maybe Eminem was um, talking about presenting. I don't know what that song's actually about. I think you mean a 12-hour stream. Wait, now we need an 8-hour stream to make it up for lost streams? Um, well about that, hold on. I'm not liking the turn that this is taking. This is a quick turn that we're really- It's kind of derailing my original thought. It's about his mom's spaghetti. But it's how it makes him prepared for presentations. You know what I mean? Like a mom's spaghetti. 24-hour stream. We're going the wrong direction. So we're going the wrong direction. I Like I said, I think the longest I've done is like 15? There's a reason I didn't put 24 hour stream on like the subathon rewards last time. It's because I don't want to do it. <laughs> I simply don't want to do that. Plus interest. What's the interest? What's the- No! This, now Bowser's pl out here playing- What's that game? 2048? Just combining numbers. Multiplying. We're doing math again. I left you guys a week ago, and now we're back at it doing math. 
Wow, this is such an old Zagbu video. I'm looking at a video from April 8th. So, five days, year ago, five days future. Yeah, whatever. 360 days ago. Um, I wanted to see the color we did. We Our frame was like purple and light blue. I think it's kind of the same. No, we did like, I did like green this time. It's cute. We were playing Bloodborne. Freaking Bloodborne. I think I started playing it with Salix. I think it was for his birthday. Yes, we did. Alright. That's enough. That's enough research. Where's my Twitch tab? There it is. Alright. 0% APR for two hours. For two hours! Hold on. 20% interest. Hold on. Interest is a couple. Oh, a couple hundred hours. Okay. Someone I know did 91 hours in one week? Hold on. Let's do some math. 91 divided by 7. Let's see how many hours that is a day. 13! No, I'm okay. Uh, great, great suggestions. How do you have a video from the future? No, no, no. It was from uh, August 8th of last year. So I changed the frame color around me each month. Last month it was um, green and... Shit, I already forgot the fucking color. God damn it. I had the freaking... Whatever, it was the last one. Here, let me let me just open up my video producer. Uh, beep boop 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 boop. Uh, it was... Ah, it was green and purple! I kind of like the idea of, like, introducing the next color. Or, like, introducing another color. I don't know. Wish my dad came back in a week. You know? A week's a long time to go without a dad, but it's nothing compared to forever. 91 is so many hours though. I'm still I'm still reeling from that Antario. That is like not even a full ass day. Like that's that's like more than two times full job. Two times full time job. Makes sense to me. 16 hour streams? Bro. I commend him. I commend this man, because I can't do that. Can't do that. Unless the stream was literally me ignoring you guys and me not being here, but the stream was going. Like if I went to school, came back, stream was still going. I sat at my desk and like did shit. I came here. That would be- I could do that for 16 hours. Like just live my life, not in front of the TV screen. Thank you, Extra. I'm <laughs> okay with that for streams. Cause Extra, as much as you like to rag on me, you would miss me. If I wasn't here for the 16 complete we'll hours, with. Extra would be complaining. I know it. I know it. I know her. Where's my freaking- Hey, where are my pronouns? Who yoinked my pronouns? Oh, never mind. Tiny has hers. Oh, Nerdy has- Nerdy has theirs. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Why can I only see his and hers? Oh. Oh. Uh. Ah. Uh. I love stealing pronouns. Extra has like a bag. I took your heart rate monitor. Oh, I turned it off. Play the freaking game. I forgot I turned it off. Why did I do that? Oh, cause the, cause my watch died. There we go. I had it going this whole time. I just forgot. Thanks. Thank you for the reminder. And <laughs> are you? Tiny said, "Shut the fuck up." I want to see a naked guy. All right, say less. Uh, we already have this plugged in. Do I? I was worried someone snatched them. No, no, I see your pronouns. Um, I have them like rainbow color coded, but that means I don't see every color. I think it's like red is he, him, orange is. I don't know what orange is actually, because he, they is yellow. She, her is green. She, they is blue. They, them is purple. What the fuck is orange? Oh well. We may never know. All right. I'm falling behind on my naked man quota. You know, we really have not seen a lot of naked men. I haven't paused once out of fear. I'd like to, I like to, ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot that playing a horrible, horrifying game. Who is muttering and whispering over there? Wait. I barely remember my controls. It's been a week since I played. Grow some hair on your pecker, Timmy. 
Isn't pecker like penis? Why would you grow hair on your penis? Is there hair on a penis? Or is it like your the palms of your hands and no hair grows there? That's no hair grows there, right? No. No. Yeah, right? I'm a biologist. I have a degree in biology. Pubic hair. Oh, grow grow some hair. I, I wouldn't say that's on my pecker. It's kind of above it, but you know, I guess I can't complain. Can't can't argue. I'm not in a spot to argue with people. Not on the cock, that's what I'm saying, yeah. But I guess that's a fair point. Uh look at these particles floating in. Could I have maybe seen who was talking if I had been um, more valiant in my... More speedy in my figuring out of where to go. What the... what the hell? Oh! I am supposed to go. Okay, here we go. Fucking dark in here, bro. Got my toesies out and everything and I'm supposed to just wander around here in the dark? Hey, yo. Um Who Who's talking? Where are they? Why are they wa talking in po poems? Poetry. Who's Gluskin? That's nice. Am I ever gonna see who's fucking talking? Or am I just gonna have to go around wandering around blind? My oh, mm. it mm. puzzling conundrum I have gotten myself into. I love looking at my feetsies, my toes. The spooky talking, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what? Oh, under the table, of course. How could I be so confused? I just don't want to be jump scared by these people that are talking. I just... The color scheme in this area? The blues? The lights? Let there be light? I like the little light particles floating around. What a sweet... What about a sweet little they he for a fat kiss on the lips? Yeah, I don't think I can specify the order. I think it's like... I think they just... Are like, okay, if you use he or they, it's just gonna say he, they, it's not gonna say they, he, which is... Unfortunate, but I guess if if people have more than one pronoun... Who's talking to me? Anywho, uh, if people have more than one pronoun on their pronoun options, I... I usually just say either or. I kind of like interchange them unless I know specifically if they prefer one or the other. That was scary. Damp. <laughs> Damp. It's more obvious in other rooms. Oh, okay. That would make more sense. More obvious in rooms that aren't perhaps so fucking pitch black. Well, they are making a ruckus. What? Oh, to hide! Excellent. Why would I need to do that? Why are we breathing heavy? There's no need. What is that? That's not good. Anywho. Anywho. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. They said the groom. And then there's this. I have no memory of adding pronouns to Twitch, but go off. I'm glad. It's like at a... It's like an uh, extension, I think, nerdy. I have it where I can see it if you're using the extension, like I can see the pronouns that you choose, but it is something you have to do like outside of Twitch, so. That's me at every minor inconvenience. What? Kill us? Kill us. Burn the building. Where's the death here? Kill us, cause I, these are documents. No, wait, 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 I want my notes. Back inside, like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise anymore. Suicides seem wise. Alright. Don't fucking do anything. I beg of you. I beg of you. Okay, why is there like... Oh, I don't like this. 
Stop. I'm getting scared. I don't like this. I'm getting scared. Don't forget to look for notes! Notes, Tiny says. Like, I can see any notes in this wretched, awful place I'm in. In this- oh god, it's- okay. I- I forget how scary this shit is until I'm, like, in it again. Until I'm, like, in the thick of it. And then I have the wonderful- Why am I FPS shitting, bruh? I'll consider that a fear pause. Cause this sh oh god. Like- Oh god, please. There's like thumping and whomping, and I don't know which way I'm supposed to- Ah. Slide through here. Why are you there? If they catch us, they'll give us to him. The man downstairs. Bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. God. Oh, God. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the warning, my boy. Thanks for the heads fucking up. Oh, I'm so glad that you gave me that sensible, normal wor uh, heads up. So that I may know to be quiet. So that I don't get sent downstairs. I don't know what that is. Friend! Ah, oh, uh, friends don't let friends be scared. What? Am I gonna die? Um, I am a little stupid, I'll be honest. Here we go. We go back out. Apparently this is a thing. What is a thing? They'll send you to Gluskin. Is that what the guy said? I genuinely couldn't even remember the word he said. I was just about to say, does this count as a fear pause? I would say it did. I would say it did. Milestone achieved. But why are you typing it? You should be able to hit share, I think. And it will share it with the whole stream and then you can flex on people. Am I not supposed to be in the walls? Ah, I simply am stupid. I'm blind. Hard of sight. Oh, it's so hard to live in a world where all I have is- Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. I was hoping I'd find a battery at least. It won't let me share it. Interesting. Here, wait. Oh, but you did- you were able to share it privately with me and the mods. I do see that, Bowser. Nice. Streak 3. It is new. They're trying it out. Um, I've seen it in, I think, Liv's stream, actually, uh, one of our mutuals. Um, theirs will, like, you can publicly announce it, like, in the chat. Kind of like, um, like a sub. Like, oh, like it goes so that everybody can see it. Oh, I see. Push that around, uh-huh. Um... Uh, what is it? But I guess, like, I think they're testing out different capabilities of it, or what people want to get from it. And, um, so mine, it's, like, private, I guess. Ford is Ford. Dr. Ford is that a guy we should know. A person we should know. Could be a woman, I don't know. Dr. Ford, I conducted I another interview with your patient, Dennis, this afternoon, and have to agree with your suspicions. And I've just finished my milk. Who's Dennis? In the course of a 40 minute interview, I had wide exposure to all four of Dennis's expressed personalities. Oh. As near as I could tell, two brothers, their father and their grandfather. Oh, they're all related. They seem primarily concerned with some sort of life threatening flood, though there was little consistency between this event having already happened or threatening imminent arrival. The clarity of his delusion and performative nature of the personality's expression certainly suggests malingering. I admittedly fall in the First Stenberg camp of categorical skepticism of disassociative personality disorder, but Dennis's case seems clearly invented by an attention-seeking patient, more likely symptoms of gross narcissism and obsessive compulsive disorder. Continue with shock therapy. All right, Dr. Wolfram. Sucks. I don't think so. Okay. Thank you for the hydrate extra. Cool. So they just, uh, he said, nah, I don't think that's real. What if we just, like, kept shocking him? 
Like, okay, cool. Boy, I love pushing things and only seeing some of my... Only having vision. So I'm still in the walls. Where they said that they would kill me. Or something. I'm trying not to be scared. But it's a little scary. Why? Oh. My god, I'm chewing through these batteries, dude. So this is just speed run this area. What's that? What is happening? Who are these people? Oh, is it one guy? Possum titty? Damn. Hello, how's it going tonight, theater? It's going great! I have seen... Um, we've done very little so far. I have paused out of fear once, because getting used to this shit is a... Uh, it takes a second to kind of get back into it. <laughs> He said titty. Yeah, he did. He really did. Tibby. Exactly. But how are you doing, theater? It's been a long week since I've played this game, so it's like having to get back into the... the... the fear of literally moving around. What? Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah. It would tell me if it was Oh, open let's goal. freaking go. God. That scared me. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me, dude. My own fucking voice. Um, from what I can tell, this also isn't open? Okay. In interesting. Interesting. Interesting turn of events here. Um. From what I can tell, I just got a little note about the fellow that we are sharing this space with, is what I'm guessing. I am just wildly speculating that the guy we read about that has the... Uh, multiple personalities. Um, he perhaps is uh, here with us in this um, space, talking with his to himself. Your voice is pretty scary. My voice is pretty scary. Extra, you must be so fucking terrified sitting there listening to me. No, I tried that. About to use up my whole battery. Should be something. Oh wait, there's pallets. Ah. Can hop on these. Maybe. Maybe I fucking can. Come on. Seriously? It's not the pellets? How about we just wander around for 1800 years? <laughs> I bear through it because you're funny. I'll take that. Hell yeah, cat vibe! That's to my delicious, beautiful, melodic voice. I think, uh. God, what? Se Seriously. S serious. Why can I go around all these places if this is not the way? The way. It's gotta be. Is there something I can go under, perhaps? I've been looking up. Maybe I need to look down or something? I don't- I don't appear to be able to climb up this. That is not openable. This is not openable. Allowed to be open. Is this anything? No. Me about to- I'm di I'm, I'm gonna die in here. Mysteries aplenty. This was locked. I can't remember and it's always so frustrating to watch because I always have the urge to explore it myself and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Tanya, I get that. I'll, I'll be watching another streamer. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wait, are you fucking kidding me? Wait, was it just go in here? Oh, no. Say it wasn't that. Oh. My god. Hmm. Alright, cool! Zagbu gets the award for being blind. God 
Damn, you serious? Alright, then what would you like me to say? I don't know, Tiny. I was just gonna say that I, I will watch streamers play a game or that I've played, or not even a game that I've played, but like I figure out the puzzle or where they're supposed to go, and I don't want to tell them outright. And sometimes I can't even explain. I'm like, you need to go to the left door, and they're like, where's the door? I don't know where the door is. And I'm like, you stupid son of a bitch. Can you open your fucking eyes? So, sorry, I had to... Sorry I made you guys experience that. Jesus fucking Christ. God, at least I'm not scared anymore. I can't even comprehend where I'm supposed to go. Here we go. I think I climb up here, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Into the room with the... Hello? What do you think? Hi! You do. What? Once we agree. Don't don't do that. Ayo, hey, please, please chill. Chill, I don't know where to go, sir. Wait, yes I do. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh. oh, chill, chill, chill. Hold on, chill. Wait, my battery's dying. Climb. Okay. Climb. Climb. Right, we're just gonna. Oh, oh, we came full circle. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. Anywho. Oh, what's. What? Oh, because. Oh. Hmm. The guy told us not to come down here. It's almost like the guy literally told us not to come down here. Play games and just talk about random shit. Ontario, that's exactly what I do. Because there are always a few seconds ahead and they don't know where you're talking about. And you don't know where you are. No, that's exactly true though. You're so right, Tiny. It's like, yeah. It's, it's like, oh, where do I go? And people will be like, go to the right. And I'll be like facing a completely different direction by the time that their message sends and I read it, so. By the way, yeah, exactly, extra. I don't know if this technically falls under Twitch Twitch's banned games. So maybe watch where you're looking. Am I gonna see more penises? Is there more penises in my future? You know what, it would be weird if it was, it should not be they should not have it as a category if it's banned. I don't know. We've seen titties. That's practically the equivalent of a penis. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. That's fine. Well, I've seen someone play Minecraft and they were lost, got them out. Nice, Antario. I'm glad. We've seen the, the twins' actual penises out, so... Can't imagine that we'll see anything. Oh my! Oh my God! I came here to drink milk and kick ass. Oh! Oh my! Ooh, that's. Mmm. What is that? I I was thinking it was going to be another P penis. Is there a guy there? Oh my God! Hold on. Oh! <laughs> okay. I know Honey Pop is banned. The sentiment is still there. What's Honey Pop? It sounds kind of familiar. Um. Cool. <laughs> Dean thinks to block the screen for the VOD. Right? Oh my god. Man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. Okay. I was gonna say, it doesn't seem like I thought it was- I th isn't- wait, isn't there female, um... Are there female patients oh in here? Oh my god, this game is so <laughs> sad! Very, uh, bad dating sim, I was gonna say. Suspicious. God, we did Doki Doki. That's gotta be fucking... Not anymore. Okay. Oh, that was- oh. Was it because of the pregnancies or was that because of the workers? The workers were getting... 
like hallucinatory pregnancies, right? The kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was, until recently, the most miraculous thing I had ever seen. <laughs> until now, this is a bigger miracle than, than you giving birth to our sons. Completely outside of reasonable belief and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You always said that I was too literal-minded, tried to turn everything into a what-if-then statement. Lately, I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer. Money. Profit. Things we just made because we could. Here. What I'll do... Because uh, I want to see... I want to get a good look at it. Um, I'm gonna hide... Hide it so that you guys don't see it. Sorry. And I'm gonna give it a good old peruse. Music's cute. Music's very sweet. How'd they give him tits? But bad is an- oh, I feel a little dirty playing this and not in a good way. That's fun. That's good. Time to check out Honey Pop. At least they're holding hands. And then it's just like a person's head. Okay. But they gave gave the person giving birth um, tits. Cool. Is there um, anything I can get around here? No. Okay, cool. As far as I can tell. Alright, you guys can see it again! You guys got a glimpse? Um, so... Who did that? And are they still down- are they down here? And do they want- oh! Love it when guys just run, you know, off in the horizon. Um, and is, uh, are we, are we gonna run into the person that did that, and do they want to do another one? Do they want to make another piece? I don't really want to go the way that that guy ran. I'm kind of scared. Kind of don't, kind of don't want to be down here in the dark. Um, I'll be fucking honest. Not even entirely sure where I'm going just around uh there's there's a fucking guy god. Oh, oh my god hi okay can you cool anywho why you come did you come back who who where where are you talking to me where where are you talking to me from huh Eddie what are you filling me up where are you was that him we're, t we're making a lot of innuendos right now, Eddie. Am I supposed to not be going towards him? Perhaps. Um. What are these noises? I love the way, the way they play you with the prompter. That was very cute. That was clever. Because they did make me think I could open that fucking door, which usually is the case when. Um... Oh, is that him? I- I'm not your baby girl, bruh. I- I don't even know where I'm supposed to go, I'll be honest. I go back to the, the pregnancy, to the birth? I don't really want to do that either. Oh, 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 I do! Okay, here we go. Welcome home! That's lovely, thank you so much. Um, anywho. Off we go. Ah, cool! Thank you so much. Maybe I perhaps- Hmm. Do not follow me. Anywho. Now what am I doing? Ah! What does that say for me? Wait, I could've gone this way? Oh. Interesting. Fucking love all of Gluskin's music themes. That's his fucking name? Oh, Gluskin. Gluskin? Gluskin. 
Uh, that's the guy that, uh, the guy told us to not- Oh, to, oh. Wait, 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 Sliced and sewn on Gluskin's table to make a place to push inside. The groom will make himself a bride above the knees, below the navel. Now hold on. Hold on. You never had an official OST release. That is kind of a crime. Why why wouldn't it? It has different music than the original game. There's a hair, I can see it. Um, hold on. Is this Are we such are we su are we perhaps suggesting that this Gluskin guy is going to do something to the area above my knees but below my navel in order to make himself a bride so that he can push inside i'm not liking this i'm kind of connecting the dots and i'm not liking the image that i am creating by connecting these dots we found this a while ago actually but not like spotify and other places it should be on spotify time to time to get him Uh, <laughs> not, not the smiling. Um, oh, okay, hold on. So, homeboy, can't, can't the homeboy like men love makes a house a home? Well, that's lovely. Uh, are you saying he's gonna, is he gonna give me bottom, he, he wants to give some guy bottom surgery? Probably against their will. Well, that's a lovely dress. That's so cute. Ah. Uh, beautiful job there, Eddie. Is he following me? Don't do this. See how happy you'll be? Well, you don't gotta get married to me. Oh. Oh. Oh, push. Oh, no, push it! Push it! I'm not- I'm not the woman you are looking for. I'm not the woman- Oh god damn it. Chili! Why would you do this? Now I have to pause my game to ban you. Anywho. A volunteer's tribute? Supporting bottom surgery is the- <laughs> in the actual worst way possible. Literally. Okay, um. Uh, listen. I'm- I'm begging- I'm begging of you. I would like to keep my penis. I would like to keep the body parts that I currently have. I would like to not make changes to them. Is he like following me? Is he behind me? I don't even know. Am I supposed to be running? Am I supposed to kind of look around? Am I supposed to, to be doing something specific here? I'm kind of running. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, let's follow the blood. That seems like a great idea. Go push this. Oh my god! No, 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 no! Please, 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 please! No, I don't need to be beautiful! I would like- No, no, I don't want to have the baby. No, 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 no! No, no, please, sir! Please, I don't- I'm not looking- Oh! Okay, here we go. Ah. No, no, no! What is happening to my leg? Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Youchie. Oh, my leg. Ow! Oh, don't pull that out. Without you, hold on. Can you... What? <laughs> you do something like that to yourself? Hi, King. Hello. Rather die than be with me. Die. Okay, wait, King. Hold on. We can make this work. Hold on. That hurts to look at. Oh no, don't- don't raise it. Oh wait, is this what we want? Um... Okay. Go back, I wanna see! Wait! I would've loved you forever. What is happening? Oh! So... <laughs> so what just happened? I'm in the elevator. What the fuck? I'm dying. Hello? 
Was that supposed to happen? I'm gonna guess it's not. Hi, real sewer rat. Welcome in. He hit you with his no clip abilities. He was like, then die. And he made me phase through the elevator and, and die. I missed six whole naked men. They were in the last stream, real sewer rat. Don't worry, you can see all six of them. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to happen. I didn't think it was. It looked like I clipped through something, so that's good. Um, but you can see all six of those naked men on the first part of this DLC. We haven't seen any naked men this time. Eddie here is fully clothed, so... He's dressed up! He's ready for his wedding day! He's in his little groom outfit. It's cute. Exactly. Exactly. You can either see it on the YouTube or you can see it uh, here on Twitch. Anywho. Oh! My bad. We did die, so... <laughs> we have to... Increase that accordingly. Cool. I would like to... Okay, so I can't... Oh! Oh! Well... So I was supposed to go there. I would have loved you forever. Okay, I think I... I think it... I think the idea here is that if you stand on top of it... For too long, it smushes you. I think that's what's happening, right? Do I return to the game? No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> He's clipping strats. Amazing. Thank you so much for the clip, Tiny. And then as you saw with this this last death just now, we had it where like, um, we died and then we kind of clipped through it. But this one, we just clipped through it. And then we died, as far as I can tell. <laughs> it just fell through the elevator, down the elevator shaft. Excellent. All right. Um, I increased my death count again because I'm fucking around and finding out. Anywho. I've never seen that happen, and I've never seen that happen either. Are we not supposed to be dying if we stay here? Instead of going down? Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Would have loved you forever. You're a handsome guy. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I don't know. Anywho. This time we're going through, don't worry. I'm done dying in this elevator. I'm done dying in this elevator. Interesting. I can't <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There we go. Died from the spooky. I don't want to continue. <laughs> I don't want to do that, Eddie, please. Is he coming right now? Oh, my leg's all fucked up. That's why I sound like this. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this is great. I think I'm going to get really far like this. A woman's work is never done. You're so fucking right, Eddie. God. Finally, a man uh, understands. Anywho. Off we go. Yeah, this is good. Um... There's no- what is this? There's no place like home. There sure isn't. Can I hobble a little faster? Oh, I can. Is he chasing me? I can't tell. Uh. Anywho, I'm just gonna keep following this blood trail. Oh, to hide! <laughs> we tried the door right next to him! Uh, anywho, don't mind me. What? Smell of my love's arbor. Darling. No, please! <laughs> please! You make yourself forgive. What is happening? A delicacy. Oh, hi. To be unwrapped. Wow, your eyes have seen better you. days. Did you Save lock me in here? Don't do that. Did you lock me in here? What is happening? Are you lifting me? What is happening? <laughs> he is so progressive. He is. Uh, but he... What is... What is occurring right now? I've been God forbid <laughs> women do anything, right? Uh-huh. Oh, he is... He's great. You know how a man gets what he wants to know a woman? I'm... I'm not a woman. I've made an honest... 
be a different man. Eddie, I beg of you, I'm not a lady. You're ignoring my gender pronouns a lot right now, Eddie. Family. That's a great. Legacy. To be the father I never had. I cannot produce I those never for you. That's lovely. I'm- I- I'm sure you'd make a great- Not yet, you are! Ah. Is Eddie gonna do that for me? Is- Why are you dragging me away, Eddie? No, you must be just as eager as I am to consummate our love. We're trying to enjoy the anticipation. Okay. Um. Don't- Push gas in my locker! <laughs> okay, this is great. You know what, though? Get yourself a crazy man that calls you darling. 12 hours! 12- 12 hours I've been in this locker. How have I not pissed myself? I guess I you could sleep for 12 hours. Darling! I need you to try to bleed less. I know the fair sex often endure the same wounds with your suffering, but you really need to make an effort. What's he doing to that man? You could piss for 12 hours. Um, Eddie, okay. No, I'm so sorry, darling. Love isn't for everybody. Hey, he's calling other people darling. I'm kind of insulted. I'm kind of, um, uh, am I passing out again? Okay, so he killed that guy. I know! He's calling somebody else darling. I'm a little insulted. I'm a little- I'm a little hurt. I thought we had something really special here, Eddie. Hold still now, darling. He just calls every fucking bitch that, doesn't he? Oh my god, this game is so sad! A little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. Not the little girl again. Eddie, you can't just chop a guy in half. <laughs> um, okay. Eddie, I was kind of on your side, and then... Go through his phone. <laughs> you're ugly and you've given up on love. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Oh, okay. I Do I just keep passing out? What is going on right now? Alexa, play before he cheats. Damn, I'm trying to make you jelly? It's working. Oh, no, 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 please. I just want to stay in the locker. I'm missing some naked men. You're fucking right. That was like three naked men, right? At least three. Okay. We think three or do we think more? That made my Alexa go off? Sorry. Sorry. Don't have Alexa in your house. Easy. I love that Nerdy and Tiny had the exact same thought at the exact same time. Four? Okay. I can do four. <gasps> that makes a double digit. Let's fucking go. I might have to scoop this. Yeah. Scoot. That's more centered. About to be five. <laughs> That's not- that doesn't bode well. Um, please tell me I'm still in the locker. No, no! <laughs> I'm the naked man. You're going to be beautiful. I'm the naked man. No, please, Eddie, please. Eddie, I could be a beautiful woman, but with this, Willie. It's not pleasant, I know. I... But just try to um, endure. Oh, Eddie. For sake, for the sake of our children. Eddie, I don't think you can- I don't think you can make- No, Eddie. No, his pee pee. Oh. Oh, you don't like the willy, eh? Oh, that's lovely how you touch my thigh like that. To grow our fingers of my seed! That's good! No, please! Please, no, my will, please! No! Stop it! Eddie! Eddie, please! I don't want to think of the children! Eddie! Eddie! Eddie, do not do this! Eddie! Eddie, stop! Eddie! 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 Oh my god! Oh! Get my ass off of this thing! Okay. 
Oh my god, the other guy saved me. Other man, thank you. All right. Let me, uh, oh. Yeah, let me grab some clothes. Yeah, okay, sure. And my camcorder. Immediately. Oh my god. Oh, I'm still hobbling wobbling. All right. Can I get a little screen? Yep. I have no batteries? Oh my fucking god. I <laughs> wish someone would touch my thigh like that. Thank you for the five boo bitties, nerdy. Nice caulk. Tiny and I are on the Naked Crusade. The Naked Crusade continues with 11 naked guys. But I need it so that I can make it do silly things. That's fair. Maybe he'll bring the blue counter up. Honestly, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised that he didn't lick us, but you know, he didn't. <laughs> He's breeding kink out of control. Shake my head. Eddie, I... Eddie, we didn't need to do any of that. Let's be real. Mazel tov to your latent brisk, I guess. Honestly. We were getting... I don't know for sure, but I think that guy might be the guy from earlier who was like, it's very bad if we get down the Gluskins area. I was wondering. I think it might be. I mean, it wasn't super obvious. It never is, but I I'm thinking it is. To drink milk still intact. Kids. I'm I'm Not here, Lisa. I'm it. still me. He tried to make me his bride to cut me. Maybe I was wrong. Telling the world would only draw it here. Should this place just die and fester here? I won't tell the world if it means spreading the infection. Let it die alone. Let it rot. Hey, a man needs love. Eddie needs love too. I just wish that I didn't I didn't have to have my penis cut off for it. You know? Alright. But that's fine. We made it through. We live. Like I said, friend, he is a friend. No, please! I am a hobble mess! I don't- Oh no, I don't know where to go! It's dark and I don't have any batteries! Eddie, please. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie! Oh my god, he's right there! Eddie, please chill. Eddie, ow! Why are you beating me up? Ow! I thought you were trying to be my groom. Daddy Eddie, that was some weird foreplay. You know? Are you just another whore? Eddie. Eddie hates me. Eddie, I'm sorry that we didn't have a discussion about... Like, what each of us wanted out of this relationship, and I'm feeling a little unheard. I'm feeling like you're not listening to my opinion, and that's not- that's not good for me. I have to pee already. It's only been an hour and I have to pee. Eddie, I'm deady! Exactly, nerdy. Forgot to ask your safe word. He doesn't even care! I could say the safe word, and he would ignore it, because he's evil! Damn it, Eddie! I was rooting for you! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a quick BRB, so take this time <laughs> to stretch, get a snack, get some water, go to the bathroom. Don't get gotten by Eddie. Oh my god, this game is so and sad! And I will be right back. Eddie doesn't even know what a safe word is. He's like, what is that? <laughs> He's just doesn't get it. Alright, BRB. BRB. From the other stuff. Oh, wait, Fang? Yo, yo, okay, my tits were just blown clean off. There's no way. There's no way that they're gonna make this hottie dateable. Look at him. I think him? Uh, what do you want? Um, why is the bird talking to me? Uh, you must be looking for the doctor. Or, <laughs> or is, is that your voice? Oh. Wait. Game's a little loud right now. Okay. Thank you, Yan. Yan. Oh, Yan Ni. Yan Ni. Game sounds loud. Yeah. Let me just try to have it kind of. Some of my games are like super loud and some of them are not. I'm mumbling like Jay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Meg. How about now? Is it a little better? 
I'm gonna be like mumbling a lot probably because it's happening. I'm, yeah, I'm like clicking all over these poor girls and there's nothing. Nothing to craft with. I have not even my key items or any treasure. I have nothing. I literally have nothing. Hello? No, I'm not gonna run. I'm in my pause screen having a meltdown. And I have no money? This bitch took my money. That's the worst part. And also my fist. <laughs> oh boy, has asthma for all the dust. Dude, shit, same. Oh my god, duh. Oh my god. Hurt, <laughs> George. Oh, that was such an old clip. Speaking of clips, thank you so much for the clip, Tiny. I'm the fifth naked man. <laughs> god. Like. Jesus. Evil. God damn it, Eddie. God damn it. <laughs> Thank you for the clip. And I'm back. I'm ready to get killed 18 bazillion times. Because I'm bad at running. And I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Bah! Alright. What if we ran towards Eddie? Also, why is my night vision working but without batteries? Well, who are you calling crazy bitch? Oh, I guess it's not really working, is it? Oh, Eddie. I don't know how to get away from you. Whore. Don't call- Ow! Don't call me a whore! <laughs> Why did you grab me like that? Don't do that. So this is going well. This is going extremely well, actually. Um, I don't know how it could be going any better. I- I- I think we're gonna see double-digit death count today because... I don't know where I'm supposed to go. What if we go a different way? What if we don't go this way that I'm facing? What if we go... I can't fucking see. Oh, that's an arm. Okay, alright. Uh, the, wow, there's a lot of arms down here. Oh god, there's- oh wow, there's a lot of- okay, I guess we gotta go this way- Oh god, what was I running into? A mannequin. Okay, that's fine. I can run into a mannequin. The king finishes you off by stepping on you. The devs knew what they were doing. They made me fall in love with and root for Eddie, and now what? What if I just run into him? I can take a hit. Oh, God. Go fast. <laughs> Eddie, you're not even properly holding on to me. Your foot's not even on me right. I'm clipping again. Alright, so listen. So listen. Do I know what I'm supposed to do? No. Is that clear? It should be. So this isn't working. This technique that we're trying. We have to do something else. But I can't fucking see, so I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I think I'm supposed to go, you know, a way that I can see. It has to be. Bitch took all my batteries or whatever. Oh, I guess they died probably, like, because I was dead for, like, 12 hours or whatever. You know, not dead, but you know what I mean. Eddie. I guess I have to have him chase me in a specific way so that he gets trapped behind something and I can go that way. I did that before. Yeah, come over here. Are you? God! Please! Can I hobble any fucking faster? <laughs> I know I really hurt my leg, but he's kind of after me. I didn't want to do anything specific. Okay. That's, you know, not all women are built the same. God damn. Please. What? Please. I am just wanting to get a little distance. Fuck! Oh my god! 
Out the window. I'm going out the window. Oh, my body. Oh, my leg. Where did I come from? Well, I really jumped down, huh? Didn't I? Shit. All right. Run! I know, I was trying, Thistle. It worked. Did I miss anything? Probably. But away we go. Man of the year, Eddie Gluskin. Oh, I miss him already. Oh, Eddie, where would we be without your silly little shenanigans? Maybe we our leg would be a little better off and uh, we wouldn't have almost had our dick cut off. But, you know... Where would we have been? Where would we be emotionally? <gasps> oh, beloved battery. God bless, bruh. Love that I had like five fucking batteries and the game went, oh, that's too many. I'm gonna take them all from you. Okay, thanks. Thanks, I was collecting those. We'd be a little less traumatized. Just a little. See if it's even it's not even worth talking about how much how little we would be traumatized. Alright, emergency evacuation. Look at this. Vocational block, mail ward, administration block. You are here. Where are we? Ah! We are in the vocational block. If there's oh, this door needs a key. So we're gonna go find a key, I'm assuming. Isn't the goal to get to administration? I guess we're kinda getting Ah. Oh, no, we're trying to get into the mail ward? I guess to get into the administration? I gotta hobble like this the rest of the game? I'm just a little guy with a broken leg. Ooh, a battery. Thank you. Boy, I sure hope that, um... No horrors await me. I don't have the means, the capabilities to fend people off. Not that I was doing that much before, but now I really don't have the capabilities. I'm kind of fucked up. <clears throat> right. Okay. Oh. Did I go up here? Oh yeah, baby. Oh my god, hi. God. Alright, cool. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Cool. What on God's green earth is going on in here? What is all that? What are these big ass spikes coming out of everything? Hop. Are we... Are those guys? Oh my God. Hold on, there's too many naked guys to possibly comprehend! Oh my god, there's- oh, there's- there's simply too many to comprehend. Oh my god. I ate 50 spicy chicken McNuggies yesterday and I regret it today, I can imagine. I forgot those guys were all naked. Alright, how many are there? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, we'll do it in rows, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 33, 39, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 
75. Well, I counted 75. What is that, like 69 naked bi bitches? I could say 69. But it's not gonna go with our death- our naked men count. This does not bode well for the naked men counter. It sure doesn't. You're damn right. I know I got a note too, I'm not gonna forget. Dog, I lost the thread so quickly! How about we- do we agree that there's at least 75 naked guys here? Because I probably- I probably recounted and miscounted some of them, I'll be honest. Wayland needs to see 32 hanging naked men before he writes a note, honestly. Like, he- he took a long time to write the note. I was in the 30s. I was like, bro, write your freaking thing out. Okay, so 75 plus 11, we're gonna have 86 naked men! Aw, oh, small price to pay. A do a little infinity sign, Antario? I think that's a good idea. Honestly. Do we want to do 86 naked men or do we just want to say infinity? Alright, where's my no... This way. Bluebeard's wives? Bodies hanging like wet laundry like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, hunted, and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself, he's not making women to bear his children. He's making women to kill them. I mean, listen. I think he is trying to make women to bear his children. It's just that they're dying in the process. Because he doesn't know how to surgery. 86 because it implies you counted. I did. And I did count. Thank you. I did spend some time counting. Alright, uh, Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Uh, destroy the Murkoff Corporation. Bury it in shame. Take away its money. Wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood meet decomposing to game. Well, now we're a fucking poet, eh? Oh, I see. All these ropes are to hold up the guys. Ah, I didn't quite understand that when I first got into the room. At least he's doing something with them, I guess. I don't know. You know, it's, it's cute. I don't know why he cuts so high up. Like, Eddie, you can- There we go. See, like, this guy just has his willy gun. Like, that makes sense. This guy has a cut all the way- Oh, but he has boobs, too. Okay. I guess... He was trying to create a pregnant look? I don't know. Not quite sure the- The thinking here, Eddie, I'm a little confused. There's two types of men here. There are ones that have boobs. And a cut all the way up. Or just their willy gun. Cut down the ropes. God damn. This is why I need a fucking knife, you guys. How am I supposed to cut down all these men? I don't even got a knife to do it. Ter ter terrible. Eddie did all of this in one night. Well, I'll say his he's a very hard worker. I killed up Eddie's motivation and energy. Exactly. He's very... He's a very hard-working guy. Those two things are not mutually exclusive, Wayland. Exactly. Eddie, my king! Plus drawing up and sewing all those dresses. Wow. He really, uh, you know what? I, I, my, my opinion on Eddie is changing again. Why is he here again? You told me that already, bitch! Am I walking towards him? That's- you got a lovely voice. Alright, well, um... He's so lovely. Lovely, lovely singing voice. Just wish he wasn't singing to me. Uh, I'll be honest. Oh god, this is what Tiny was saying in the beginning of the stream! Oh, Tiny knew. Obviously she did. God. God damn it, dude! I wish it was just Tiny singing me this song and not Eddie. I don't know where he is. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Open the door. Of course. Oh. 
It's blocked on the other side. Oh, I could open this. Anywho. Let's simply go around. Ah, oh, we get to walk down the aisle. That's lovely. We get to hobble down the aisle. My man's an artist. He is. <gasps> no, please. Please, please, Eddie. Eddie, Eddie, listen. Eddie, listen. Eddie. Eddie, listen. I was trying to enjoy your freaking push. Push? I have to be on the other side. You're kidding me. God. God damn it, dude. I could push it any slower. The song is a bop. Is it? All right. Go! Ah! No, Eddie, please! Please. God damn it, Eddie. I don't want to look at you. If it makes you feel better, I am singing along. No. Because I'm getting killed again. God damn it, bro. Now I got to do the freak. Oh my god, my death counters always love to move around. Don't do the smiley face. Who's smiling here? It's not me. Scoot down, dang it. There we go. That might be too close, but I'm too lazy. Yeah. Double digits, diggity damn. All right, in my defense, I think we died like three times in the elevator. It would actually more be like seven, not 10, but I died three times. All right, uh, let's take a second. Let's take a second. First of all, there we go. Uh, beautiful. Have a lovely Germaine to marry us. I do like that his fucking shadow appears. I like to see my shadow, that's cute. I, I'm actually looking through this camcorder, believe it or not. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm not a filthy slut. I don't deserve your children, though. I like that idea. I like that thinking. Let's stick with that, Eddie. Because it was wild, but the others count. All right, whatever. Hmm, maybe this wasn't the best room to come in. Okay, come on. Come on, Eddie, come in here. Where's- Oh god, you're moving so fast! Whoa, no, no, I'm getting stuck! Okay, calm down. I'm on easy mode, bro. I'm on normal. I'm on normal. Can you stay behind me? Like, far behind me. Alright, don't do the hup noise. Here, look at all your men. Don't you want to see all your naked guys? Don't you want to see all the women you made? All of these beautiful ladies? Oh, can I even get back up here? Ooh, please. Ow! Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, let the pain bear, let the pain go away. Come on, heal up. Heal up. We got it. We got it, there we go. Did he punch you in the ass as you jump? I think he did. He was like, take that. <laughs> yeah. It worked. It hurt greatly. Hurt my ass immensely. All right. Oh my God, can you? Ow, my face! Oh my god. Ow, what? Don't st stop slut punching me! Ow! Cool. No, don't hang me. No, 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 please. Is it on my neck? Don't do this. Eddie, 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 listen to me. Eddie, Ed Well, this is bad for me. This is you on the honeymoon. This is you on Am I supposed to do something here? Hate to imagine. Okay, get yourself a man that's real strong. That's nice. Am I supposed to do something here? Am I just supposed to choke? Oh, my eyes. Oh! Oh, good thing I am heavy. Ow! God damn it! Been beautiful. Wait, what happened? What happened to my Eddie? Eddie! 
Eddie! Hold on, I gotta record this. Eddie! No! My husband! My groom to be! No! Eddie! Taken too young! No! I hate this wretched game! Taking my beautiful husband away from me! Oh god! Oh no! Eddie, please! Ow! Okay. Alright, anyway, let's read this. A widower. I sure am. He's dead. The amateur surgeon, father to be, husband, his guts shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh God, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. Well, I'm not fucking laughing. I'm crying. Just gutted him. You're on thin fucking ice, Tiny. For a joke like that, when my when I'm a widower. I am without husband. What even fucking happened? It's like one of these... I like wiggled around too much and one, some, some piece of metal flew up into him and he got all caught up in his own rope? Is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, with the smileys. Alright, anyway, uh, let me go back. Bye, Eddie. I already miss you greatly. I, I really do. You were probably the highlight of this, um... Of this, uh, freaking DLC. The- the other guy, what was his name? Frank? The naked guy? No, the guy in the chonies that wanted to eat me? Nothing compared to you. You are carrying the weight of this fucking DLC on your back. You're carrying it all, Eddie. I'm gonna miss you fucking greatly. My hubby got crushed by an elevator. I was just gonna say, Tiny picks the guys that get the most worst gruesome deaths. Why couldn't your favorite be the naked twins? They seem to make it through this just fine. Alright, I'm sure nothing will happen to me going down this hallway. I guess Eddie's not here, so what the fuck would happen to me? Frank Manera. There we go. Male ward. What is a male ward if it's actually- if it doesn't have fucking Eddie in it? Eddie was just trying to bring bottom surgery to the people. Not that they wanted it, but that's what he was trying to do. It's just doing what the people didn't want, you know? One surgery at a time. What? Okay, thanks for the loading screen. Anyway, what is on fucking fire? Oh, wait. So is this- this is taking place in the same time as when Miles was going through it, right? This is my curse. It really is, though. Kinda hungry. Pizza. Waiting for me. Because the church burns at the very end of the game. Well, not the very, very end, but it was like really close to the end, right? A chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's God when you need him? He's on fire in that church, bruh. So Miles could have ran into Eddie, but Eddie found us instead because we were over here. Yep, okay. Good to know. Makes sense, because it's like, you know. It all happened kind of at once. How long was I a patient before Miles came and investigated? Because it seems like he came real quick after that email if he came that fucking soon. Yeah. What kind of sick hello? Hello? He took his damn pants. He even took his damn pants. He, he has his pants on. Hey! <laughs> Yo, there's our boy! Hello? Hello? Hello, I would- I I request assistance! Hi! Hello! Hi! Hello! Hi! Hi, super- Ah, oh, cool. I, too bad I can't use my fucking voice. Like, two hours? You know what, though? We were in that, like, um... We were in that locker. It said 12 hours. So we were in there for a while. Um... Your boy. What is he doing out there? I guess they dragged him out. I love that they were like, I've seen enough cock and balls to last a lifetime. <laughs> and it's not always connected to a man. I'm like, they just finding random cocks and balls lying around out there? Damn. I didn't see those. <laughs> Marriage ended in tragedy. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. Horrible. Evil. 
Call of Duty BO2 for the PSD is still $80 brand new and the game is from 2012. What the fuck? Why is it so expensive? It's like a Nintendo game. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Tiny. God, Eddie. Well, like I said, I already miss him. I already missed that stupid bastard. He just wanted one- he just wanted a wife and kids. He just wanted- that's all he wanted. Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contractors, whatever they call them now. They're as helpless as the rest of us. Need to get out. Escape. I'm sorry, but they literally have guns. I- I just feel like it would have been nice to get their attention. You know, it couldn't have harmed. Twitch didn't want me to adjust my timing and I misspelled marriage. F. Don't worry, you can always go back. Ooh, cool, so they're killing guys. Maybe I was right and not... Kill anything that moves! Cool, so now I'm gonna get hunted down by gunned, armed guys. What a way to fucking go. Ah, at least I got this file. Snatch! Alright. Helen Granat. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Wernick from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. Wernick is like the main guy, right? Yeah, his advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper, and legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients 14306814279 and 148681 have already been scheduled for transit. They're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have come through Wernick's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernick was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmary, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. What are they talking about? The old fart, yes. No wonder they call him the Crypt Keeper. Miles got attention of gun people and look where that landed him. He did end up shot. So you're right. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. So what is happening? They are moving patients to a new place. So the horrors continue is what I'm understanding, right? The horrors are not done. They don't die here. The, uh... The fun continues in a new establishment with three of the... Whatever. Um, good grief. With three of the uh, patients or whatever. Great music. Always. Hey, buddy. You dead? You dead, dead? I wasn't sure you were when we were miles, but the time to get up would be now. If you're gonna get up, if you're gonna jump scare me, you had to do it then. All right. Billy is going and killing people down there, so that's fine. Uh, that would be great if they just stayed down there, maybe. Priest theme? How can be th p priest theme when no priest? My poor man's. He really had to suffer, didn't he? Okay. How come we're like walking kind of better now? Or is that me? We're kind of walking like we're okay now. Why is, why is our leg feeling fine? Nobody else shocked and surprised by that. No priest theme. Priest in church. What theme is this then? Better order the Back to the Future game on GameStop's website because it's like $30. Why do I want it if it's $30? Is that on sale? Makes me think of the priest theme. Oh, these guys are mutilated beyond belief. Excuse me. A new one. It sounds so familiar. It sounds like another one that we've heard. Hey, is this where Miles fucking started? This is where Miles fucking started, isn't it? Or am I crazy? This looks just like the room that I got scared of when the TV opened. Why are these fucking doors bolted shut? Who bolted those? 
We're not bolted before. This is absolutely where we started before. 100%. 1,000 billion percent. Would I bet my life on it? No, but I trust in it. You might have heard it once or twice if you drove with me. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. I forced you to listen to my music. I just don't remember that happening. It sounds like another one, doesn't it? It sounds like... Maybe it's like the title screen? I don't know. It sounds very familiar. Like a hundred dollars or more! Oh my lord. Transfer authorization for patients. Oh yeah, here we go. Triple black security protocols, including chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive hyperbaric chambers are to be used at all time in transit. Chemical stimulation is highly recommended for all personnel within 500 meters of the patients. These patients fucking radioactive? Jesus Christ. Attempts at a communication should be assumed to be hallucin- hallucin- I know this word. Hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of loss, acuity. They are physically blind but not unseen. Security clearances for Project Wallrider will still not apply to information regarding patients- these guys. New security clearances will be issued and appropriate protocol assigned. What the fuck is going on with these three guys, dude? They're like, more powerful than even Billy? We didn't have a guy attack us in here before, right? No, we didn't. It was like, safe. If it's still safe, questionable, but you know. Gotta open every stall, of course. Okay. That's bolted closed. I have the sense that we are approaching the end. Rather, rather quickly even. Since this is like where the main ex the main door is, right? Library. We could go to the library, everybody. I mean, exit is just down there. I just gotta go downstairs. Which I think is the only way I can go. We're walking fine! Why is our leg miraculously healed? There's the man dispenser! Oh, my favorite. The man dispenser. Can I dispense another man? Imagine. God damn. Game would have been 10 out of fucking 10 if I could have dispensed another man. I have to do everything myself. I have to throw myself into the elevator shaft. I could do that. Dispense a man? No. I can go down here. Ah, it's all boarded up. They're like, oh, if you want that, you gotta play the real game. You gotta play the original game. I could do that. I could do whatever I want. Can I go into any of these rooms? Oh, Mr. Park. <laughs> How the fuck are you still alive? Who is talking to uh, Let's. Oh. Make a deal. Uh. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. I wasn't even done. I didn't get to look at my note. I got too close to you. Chill! Oh my god, Billy. Yeah, blow his ass up. Thank you, Billy. A little messy, but that's okay. Um, anywho, can I see my, um, oh, my belly? Oh, I can't even see my note. Hold on, I need to look at my notes. I got too close to him. That is not a problem that I should have had. Alright, anywho. Okay, hold on, I gotta look at my note. Wee! <laughs> Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor, a man who'd see me skinned, salted, and raped for a promotion and a few martinis. Injured. Dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him, really I am. I wouldn't feel sorry for this guy, bro. No. <laughs> but there's still no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. And there he is, now. 
Oh my god, there's there's more of him. Yeah. That's right, bitch. Alright. Anywho. Now I'm back to hobbling, because now I have a fucked up leg and a hurty tummy. But will I live? Can I escape and survive? Lisa, I'm coming! The birds are singing. Can I take one of these cars? Am I just gonna hobble home? <gasps> I could take Miles' car! I can hotwire it! He died with such a smug face. Maybe he was glad he's died. Honestly. I get it. The birds are so pretty. They're so lovely. Glad they busted down this gate so I could hobble all the way out. Just like the original game, I just gotta hobble. Gotta run. Nah. <gasps> I am gonna take Miles' car. I can't imagine that his keys are in there, but I don't know. I guess we're gonna make it work. All right. Miles' Jeep. Pop that bad boy open. Oh, what is that? No, I'm sure that's fine. Keys are in the car. Why did Miles do that? What is all that? Billy! <laughs> uh oh, we're trying to take this guy's car. Oh, well, that's not good. That's kind of scary. Billy! Billy and Miles together in arms. Don't do this. Uh oh. I'm sure you're very mad that I stole your car, but listen. Oh? Did we make it? You press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Merkel. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, they'll be nothing. Fucking telltale choice making person. game right now? I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Don't make is me do a telltale. Worth that much to you. Don't make telltale choice. He's gonna do it. Hold on. Not Billy. Oh, I guess that's true. He ain't using it anymore? No, he can do whatever he wants. I guess it's not Billy anymore. I guess it's Miles? I mean, Wall Rider is really what it is. Or some other name because it's like a secret entity or something? I don't know. Anywho, um... Can I not do this? Can I perhaps give my wife and child a good life? Or... Is this... Is this a real choice or no? I'm not certain. I'm unsure. <laughs> you can close the game! Done! Um, I see. So I do have to push the button. It's not like a timed thing. I could sit here and wait forever. to push the button and it wouldn't like time me out remember when batman when remember when the joker tried to give us a little card and i was like too busy laughing at the little card that i missed my chance to take it i don't want that to happen again which is why i'm sitting here tentatively nervous unsure not positive about my options I'm assuming you can wait forever. Well then, let's try. Welcome to forever. Love this faceless guy. <laughs> this fucking website, Viral Leaks. I'm gonna upload this footage to ViralLeaks.com and everybody's gonna believe me because I uploaded this footage to ViralLeaks.com Watch out, Murkoff. I'm coming for you. Like, okay. Who's to say I didn't Photoshop it? AI's made it. AI footage. Yeah, we are gonna just sit here forever, huh? 
Hey buddy, what if I did change my mind? Never mind, I don't want to upload this file. I don't want to upload my file. I want my wife and kids to stay happy. Happy and healthy. You warned me that my life and all the lives of my loved ones would be ruined. That would help this decision, but I will hold off until the decision is made. I don't think there's a decision. I'm not gonna close the game. I just have to upload it. Well, here we go! Beep! Document received. Whistleblower! And the credits roll. Hey. That wasn't even two hours. I feel like we streamed- the first part was definitely longer. We went more than like halfway on the first one. On the first stream. Alright, where's the supplementary material? Let me see it. I would like to see it. Whistleblower is pretty short. I mean, yeah. It's DLC. It's not supposed to be its own full game. Um, I don't know how much we streamed the first part, though. I could check, but the music will stop. Hey, maybe I could check on my laptop. Because I can look at the, U the YouTube. Damn, I missed the whole game. It's okay, Minnie. Do you see how many naked men we found? That's what matters. But welcome in. How are you doing tonight? I'm looking at how long it took for us to go through this because it's like, it didn't take us two hours tonight. Uh, it's been an hour and 45 minutes for stream and some of that, actually a small, a small portion was uh, chatting. It wasn't as much chatting as we usually do. Tiny was like, chop, fucking chop. You're telling me I missed 86 naked men. I am. It is pretty fucking tragic, I'm not gonna lie to you. Alright, looks like the gameplay starts at 15 minutes and it goes till... 4 hours and 25. So we played for like 4 hours and 10 minutes last time, and this time... It was like... An hour and a half or something. So it took us like five and a half, five hours and like 40 minutes, for example. But this time it was the all of the Eddie portion, which was really fun. It's absolutely tragic, you're not wrong, Minnie. I know Tiny's over there typing. I can hear her fingers dancing across the keys. So what's next are we ending stream? I won't do anything in addition to, um, this because one I don't have anything planned and two I'll just have it be its own thing but it was fun I really like this uh the DLC was a lot of fun I really like tonight's portion with Eddie I love Eddie a lot so Red Barrels did some supplementary comics exploring some of the characters before and after everything went to shit and one thing they showed is that Waylon and his family have been basically been traveling throughout the country and changing their names to avoid Murkoff and it turns out that Wallrider Miles is following them <gasps> and protecting them from Murkoff. <laughs> well, that's really nice of Miles. Uh, that's sweet. Gonna make me cry. Eddie is so much fun. Oh my God. I love him a lot. Favorite character. Decided. It's Eddie. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Playing Outlast and the Outlast DLC only for Eddie. <laughs> Solely for Eddie. Oh, Eddie. You were before your time. Now <laughs> you see why I drew him so much in high school. I was going to say he's very recognizable. That's for sure. God. Eddie freaking... Eddie, beloved. Do you have any of the... Any Eddie anything on your uh, Tumblr? Can I go searching deep into your Tumblr? Art tag to find him? Well, that's all I got, though. Hasn't even been two hours, but we can chat a little bit so that it gets us into the two-hour window. Short stream still. It's not uggy. It's just old. It's just an old version of the tiny drawing. Now I feel the need to look at all my old Outlast art, right? That's what I'm saying. Alright, let's see. 
Yeah, change my category. Just chatting. Hey, we can put it on the finished, the game list, but not before I look up. Um, tiny. Did that work? It did. Here we go. Tagged. Uh, let's do page, I don't know, 20. Is that how I do it? Yes. Okay, this is TF2 stuff. Where is it in relation to TF2 stuff? Is it before or after? A mystery. Let's try 30. I don't know, actually, what order it was. Oh my god, it does go far. This is also still TF2 stuff. Can I do 40? Okay, there's nothing at 40. 31? Nothing at 31. 30 is actually as far as it goes. Nice. Oh, okay. I found some. Okay, here we go. I did find some Outlast stuff. Oh, Outlast, it's Waylon crying. Dude, he misses his fucking wife. He and Eddie would have been getting along so, so well. If only, you know, if only things went better. I'm like looking off screen. Please just looked up tagged slash outlist. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't do that. I found it already. It's fine. I can look around. I can sniff around. I have a harder time looking at my old digital art than my old traditional art. Do you do a lot of traditional art anymore or nah? I was going to say, or really any. I guess no, you do. Do you? I'm actually not sure. So my stuff or is it just the thousands of Outlast things that are blogged? See, that's why I went to my art. It's just your art stuff. I could look at the- uh, yeah, I could look at your tagged Outlast stuff later. No, not really anymore. Yeah, I wonder if that's partly it, because you don't have anything to compare it to now? I don't know. It's kind of fun looking back at, um, it's not even a remote comparison to, like, you looking back at your, um, old art stuff, but, like, to make a slight comparison, it's like a. Uh, I have fun looking back at uh, my old stream layouts or like watching old streams. The streams themselves are pretty fucking similar, like the energy or whatever I'm doing or saying. But like the layout of the shit on my screen is like completely different in uh, especially early streams, like on the YouTube, which is kind of fun. Um. Anything before I edited my mic to be a lot better, though, is, like, hard to listen to in times when I'm screaming. That's so funny. The oldest, though, you can only find is clips. I've had this kind of layout for a while. But, like, for for over a year, I had my camera and the chat covering the, the content, and now I have it off to the side, which is nice. I really like that change. I made that in, like, September, I think. Not before we finished Outlast. Was it for Batman? No, it was for Zelda. We did have to finish the new Outlast. The new blah, 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 new layout for The Last of Us. Good old Outlast. It was fun. It was a really fun game, actually. Um, the beginning of tonight, fucking scary. <laughs> it's like you get, I get used to it. You get like comfortable, I think with a certain, with certain horror games. Like each time I go back to a game after it's been a little while, I have to like re-center myself and like get used to being fucking scared. Um, but once that is gone, once we get over that hurdle... Then, then we're cooking with gas. So, that's kind of nice.
Alright. I'm getting distracted. I'm sniffing- Ooh, what did I do? I'm sniffing around on my Discord. On the Discord. Let's see. Do you like the original game or Whistleblower more? Do I remember the original game? See, I like Eddie's character so fucking much, it's hard to not say Whistleblower. He's such a funky little guy. He's just so fun. I just want to, like, squeeze him. I just want to hear his weird little one-liners more. I would like him to say whore more often. I wish the doctor had more lines. Or like, you know, like Eddie, he gets control of us multiple times, which is kind of fun. I liked that, where he was like, and I wish they did something more maybe with the, um, with Frank, because Frank, we never actually like, it. we, we might have, and I can't remember, but like, he isn't like, cutscene mode a lot. He's just kind of like an antagonist, which is the same as, um, Walker? I think his name was Chris Walker, right? We always make jokes about um, Parks and Rec. It's like just this guy that's trying to get me and I'm like, okay. I know why he wants to get me. Frank wants to get me so he can eat me, but I wish they like built on that a little more. Eddie over here is like a fully fleshed out character. He's got, you know, desires, wants, needs. He's got a whole story going. He's got a backstory going. He's like, my mama told me this, and I'm like, that's great, Eddie. He's a he's a very articulated little guy, so that is really fun. Um Yeah, I think But I just played it, so it's I feel like I'm kinda biased, but I feel like I like the whistleblower a little more, but I wonder too if it's kind of the length of it. It's not like the actual Outlast game is long. It's not. It took us like three normal streams. It was like barely, you know, longer than this. Um, but that one, it was like I had more time to kind of get used to getting literally chased around by guys. And this one, it felt like that I was kind of being chased around by like, I think there was like one or two no name guys that tried to get us, but like it was pretty much like Frank in the beginning half and then Eddie at the end. I thought that was kind of cute. Oh boy, I've got an 18 minute, 36 second video for you. Let's see it. I want to open it up so I can have it on my, on my Firefox. Ready to rumble, ready to go for me. Yeah, he's a funny little guy. I like him. I like him. I like the dimensionality that he has, I guess, too. It's like, obviously, not every character in this game is going to be completely fleshed out or have like... Or need even like the naked twins. I love them too, and they're they're very simple. They just want to um, kill you and eat you. I think they want to eat you as well. A lot of cannibals going on in there. All right. I like how compact this game is. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> oh my god! Look at the little guy. That's so funny. Cool. Let's listen to this. He's the the freaking. I want to see the top comments. Did I frighten you? I'm awfully sorry. I didn't mean to. How can a line be delivered with such charm from such a scary and creepy character? Oh. I'm glad everybody in the comments is like, he's so beautiful. He's so cute. Eddie Gluskin's crazy quotes explained. And on the thumbnail, it's like, we could have been beautiful. And I'm like, he means as a married couple. Explaining done. Have a lovely evening, theater. Thanks for popping in and hanging out. As always, lovely to see you. I hope we see you in future streams, even if it's not Outlast. Everybody say goodnight, theater. Get some sleep. He has a lot of backstory that's really sad, but also really- Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, it sounded like that. But I'm looking forward to it. Let's see. Oh, that's just him breathing. Mm. Oh, he's singing. He's humming. I was like, I'm sorry. What did Tiny send me? He's like moaning in this thing. No, he's just breathing. And cleaning. Outlast dialogue and voice clips. And it's just like videos. Markov scientist dialogue slash quotes. Cute. <laughs> Actually, 
Oh, no. I was gonna say, actually, it's 18 minutes and 37 seconds, but no, it's kind of hard to tell. See, a lot of people, well, obviously on the YouTube video is gonna comment great things, but, um... Oh, I love everybody being like, this is a great, great voice actor. Awesome. Awesome job. Yeah, I also- I think he did a great job with the voice. And he was fun. Don't ask me why I was so ready to show those videos. Ah, uh, I won't. Where's the most played? It's like five minutes in. Let's see. Darling. Darling. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Darn. Stop. Stop. Oh, everybody's everybody's on this Eddie Gluskin video and they're thirsty. They are thirsty. These people are out here in the desert and they're just they're like I know I know the best part of the of the Eddie Gluskin <laughs> whistleblower voice line video. 18 minutes, but all I need is this little spot right here at 5 minutes. <laughs> I People are so predictable You people Oh god, alright I'm sure it continues I'm sure it just keeps going like that Things to fall asleep to Things to lull yourself into a night, Nice light slumber to Yeah, that was good Also, uh, yeah I was gonna say my title is pretty accurate but also, Eddie was not nude, so, you know. But, we had, look at this, we had so many naked men. Our final counters, we had 10 deaths, double digit just barely, but I finally figured out how to counter Eddie. We had 86 naked men, give or take quite a few, because it was really hard to count them all. Uh, one fear pause, and we were only licked once. I was really hoping we were going to get licked more than once, but unless I missed it, we only got licked once. So, you know. Oh, here, let me update the game list. Don't ask me why I'm so prepared. God, Tiny. <laughs> Thank you so much for the clip. It's got him moaning in it, doesn't Wait, it? It's like five minutes in. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Darling. <laughs> it's so loud, too. Darling. <laughs> It just keeps going. Amazing. Thank you so much for the clip. And now... That number will go up in Outlast 2. The licking number? Are you serious? Wait. Oh, now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. I think... Is it in the game list right now? It might not be. Here we go. I can add it. I can add Outlast 2 to the next game in a series to enter rotation. Man Vampire. Outlast. Ooh! So I don't forget. Hi, Ralph! You did! But that's okay. That's alright. I hope your bolt shenanigans are going well, but I look- I was sniffing around your Discord right now, because we're just chatting a little. Um, and I see that it's not going well, but I hope it gets better. But how are you doing tonight, otherwise? Um, you just missed it. What is it? Here, let me- I don't have the- I don't know how to do the clip command, where you play the last clip that was just made. I don't know if I have that set up. Wait, wait, what is that? Sidekick? You might tell me before I get there. That'd be cool. Outlast 2 can wait a little bit? Don't worry. <laughs> it's, um, in order of, like, what things are gonna do, it's, um... Hey, wait a minute. What happened to uh, Resident Evil 3? Oh, I pushed it down in rotation. Um, it's like The Walking Dead Season 4, Silent Hill 2, Resident Evil 3, Bioshock Infinite, Sly Cooper 3, Outlast 2. It's a lot. I had to lay a verbal smackdown on a boomer. You know what? Hell fucking yeah. Sometimes I need a nice verbal fucking smackdown. Exactly. But I'll take all- I'll, I'll take doing. Tonight with the- with Outlast we, uh, we had, um, 
We had very little of it left, as I'm sure you know, with uh, the whistleblower, because I think you've I think you've played this or you've at least seen it. Um, all we really had was the area right before Eddie, and then Eddie's area, and it was, it was kind of the end of the game. So, just had it. We just had a lovely evening with Eddie. So that was lovely, lovely of him. Uh, there we go. I think I have logged in successfully. I just don't know what the command is for. Um, the clip one. Maybe. Maybe I don't have that set up actually. Additional commands. Replay the last played clip. Okay. This clip is um just happened right now. If it works. It's not working. I'm a fool! Oh, but I didn't shout anybody out, so it might not work. I replay it via the Steam Decks. Oh, Stream Decks. So I have no idea. No worries. I watched it years ago. I didn't remember it being long. Yeah, it's not super long. Um. Yes. The, uh, what is it? Uh, we definitely did more, more of, more than half of it on the last stream in our fucking 18 thousand year long stream because chess redeemed extend stream um but it was fun tonight because it was like all eddie's area so that was like that was nice i am just updating the game list right freaking now um we just finished outlast whistleblower dlc boom add that to the completed list Boom! That makes our sixth game, and we are in the... We're just starting quarter two! Uh, fourth month of the year. At this time, last time, we had finished... Um, I'm thinking... Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. We have we had completed eight games, but one of those was Facade, so it doesn't really count. Does it really count? What do you think of Outlast and Whistleblower? We were just talking about that, Ralph. Um, I like them a lot, actually. Were they scary? Yes. Were they the scariest thing that I've ever played on stream? Sometimes I'd say yes. Um, overall, it was one of those games where you kind of get used to the the gameplay so like when we first started playing it tonight since it's been like a week since i played it i was like this is really fucking scary and it was kind of hard to push myself through knowing that i would get jump scared and i did at least twice at least twice one guy by a nice guy and one time by eddie um but it's like a it's fun mechanic having no ways to fight back it does obviously like you know you get accustomed to it and either you um, get really good at running slash hiding or you just accept death if you run the wrong way and you just try it again but um, I like it because it's not like I don't have to like fight with ammo or whatever it's a fun change from having a way to fight back um, Tiny was just asking if I liked Outlast the main game or whistleblower more and only because i really really love eddie and i just played it i would say whistleblower just a little bit more i had a lot of fun with the dlc boss battles in outlast yes i know i think you've mentioned that before tiny i feel like you have um that would be cool like and would you have like a weapon in that boss battle or just it would be like some other mechanic of like it wouldn't just be like run and hide it would have some additional mechanic if not a weapon maybe a weapon could be one. But I really liked Outlast and Whistleblower. How do you guys like the second one? Not to spoil anything, but how does the second one hold up to the first one? And how much later did the Whistleblower DLC come out, actually? Let's see. Um, Ralph, if you want to hear uh, Eddie Gluskin lines, we have an 18 minute video <laughs> that we can share with you. And the most played portion is um, him saying darling a lot. So. You know, the people want the, what the people want. Uh, Outlast release date. 2013, September. All right, Outlast DLC, DL September 2013. May 2014, so it came out like 
little more than six months later, maybe like eight. I can't do the math real quick. All right, Outlast 2 release date. No, that's the trials. I want Outlast 2. Oh, 2017. Came out three years later? Okay. I imagine it would be like the Mr. Freeze boss in Batman, Batman Arkham City, but without the fighting aspect. If only I knew what the fuck you were talking about. It should be like the, um... What's her name? It's like Ms. Ruby or something? From Sly Cooper 1. We have to hit the right buttons in the right rhythm. That would be it. <laughs> that would be the perfect thing. But I feel like you get to a point of fatigue where everything is scary. After a while, nothing is scary. Yes, I. that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, Ralph, absolutely. Playing it with gaps between you, between like you did probably helped keep it fresh. It did, it absolutely did. Um, Cause yeah, exactly, Ralph. That's what I was saying. It's like, um, Like, having the gaps make it where I have to come back to the game and I'm like, Oh god, that's right, this shit's scary. I could get jump scared. There might be somebody chasing me. I might have to know where to go. Something like that. Um, I think that helped it a lot. If I were to just sit here and, like, play it from start to finish, I feel like you would get very comfortable with the game very quickly. I mean, I even get that way during stream. Like, here we were getting chased by Eddie. Um, and I didn't know where to go, so I just died, like, a bunch of times. I was like, that's not scary. I know Eddie's coming to get me. I know where he's coming from, but I would get scared when I would accidentally, like, run into him. I'd be like, oh god, and, like, try to get around him, but, um... That, I feel like, is more of, like, a jump scare, because sometimes he appears in places I don't expect him, rather than, like, actually genuinely being afraid, but... Jump scares are still, you know, they're scary. That's why people do them. In the second one, the first third of it is fantastic, and then it really falls off in the second and third thirds. That's fun. They also made some decisions that, in my opinion, actually take away a lot of personality in the characters, which I think is the biggest detriment. Yeah, I mean, part of the largest... Excuse me. The largest um, fun with this game, other than Eddie. <laughs> than Eddie, I've decided. And Billy! I like Billy. Um... It's like the characters of the little guys, like you just run into them, and like like uh, you said the whole time we were playing both the first game and the DLC, but it was like a lot of them are friendly, quote unquote, or they don't attack you, but they're all so different. Like we had um, <laughs> the silky guy, I was just trying to explain him to my dad earlier today, I was like, there's this guy that kept calling me silky. He was fine, he wouldn't hurt me. But he's like such a little character, and there's not characters that are always like him. We had the guy that warned us about Gluskin. We had like guys that just sit there. Zagbu, play the freaking game. Bowser, what do you want me to do? We beat it. We beat the game. I'm a winner. We beat the game. Now we're just chatting. I love your stories. Thank you. You're gonna make me blush. These cheeks are gonna become bright red with flattery like that. Silky, my beloved. Every time, though, I talk about Silky, I think of, like, a fucking French silk pie. I wasn't here when you beat it, so do it again. Damn. It's fine, you guys can always relive the experience of beating the Outlast Whistleblower DLC by checking it out on the Twitch VOD or the YouTube. Exclamation YouTube. Oh, the VODs. From what I saw the second one, it just looked like more of the same. I mean, that's what Bioshock 2 is. And that's fun, to a point, you know? Thank you, Ralph. Ralph out here trying to do what I do in his streams, he'll be like, I have socials, and I'll be like, trying to type it out real quickly. My beloved is the guy in the first game who really wants you to stay quiet. He'll completely leave you alone as long as you stay away from him. Which one was that? Where was he? There was that one guy, I don't know if it's the same guy. It, there was that one guy that was standing inside of like that kind of like office space or whatever and I thought it was like oh I have to sneak around him like I squatted down and I like sneaked so that he wouldn't see me and then in the end he was just like standing there he was just like looking at you I love cafeteria fire dude I liked him until he attacked us yes that guy okay okay I was wondering he just wants you to stay quiet if so can he can you get him to attack you then 
can you like make noise or get too close to him or something? I probably didn't get close to <laughs> him. I was probably like, okay, you stay over there. That's one thing that's funny about um, games like this is that when they're when they're like creating the game and they're like laying it out, they assume that you're gonna be standing and looking at a very specific area. Like like the scene where you guys were saying that the guy like is having sex with the corpse or whatever. You guys are like, no, that's definitely in the game. Like, that happened. And I was like, I don't remember that happening. And it's because when I... You, like, come up a ladder or something, and the game expects you to be looking at these guys, doing it, and, like, continue looking at them. But when I came up the ladder, I was startled by a guy, and I, like, turned around and, like, looked around, and so the other guy was doing his little cutscene and like yelling at me and I wasn't even fucking looking at him. So I think that's kind of interesting that it was like almost like a hiccup with the development or something maybe in this game. I was not often standing where they expected me to. Even the end of the whistleblower when Jeremy is like laying against the exit and he's like clutching his stomach and he's like talking to us cuz and I know he's talking to us cuz I have subtitles on and I can hear him. But I was like where the fuck is he? Because I'm kind of like taking this stupid roundabout way. Like, I didn't- I wasn't just like marching to the exit like the game producer producers assumed I was gonna do, I guess. He'll attack you if you get too close? That's funny. Yeah, it's hard to predict. No, it absolutely is. And I think it's interesting that obviously they're not gonna make every single little interaction a cutscene or it would drive people insane. But that's the, the hindrance is that you could just miss things. But I guess that's kind of the point of it. Like, you can miss things if you're not... If you're not looking around enough, I guess. But I looked around too much, so there's a balance. <laughs> you fucked up his fire? He had a really good point that shit should burn down. Honestly, the entire time... Uh, wait, what's his name? Waylon? I never say his name right. I never say it the same either. Um, The guy we play in this game, Waylon. Um... He's like, we should burn this place to the ground. It's like every single note we had. We should burn this place to the ground. Well, he would have loved Kitchen Guy. Waylon. Waylon, not Waylon. My apologies. That's the problem. The game doesn't want to take control from you all the time. Yes, exactly. No, it's very, it's very true. And I get it. I think that's, um... But that's also what I liked about Eddie's area, is that it felt like... Like, Eddie got us like a couple times or like there was like mini cutscenes with him where we we current we couldn't control ourselves and we were just like captured. I think that was something that I would have liked to have seen more in the first game with like um with Walker. Like I think he had like one or two cutscenes where he like captured us. Obviously he's not a very articulate guy. He just wants to bash our face in, so it's not going to be a very long cutscene, but like the doctor could have had like more cutscenes or something. I think that would have been more interesting. Like, Eddie had, like, two or three or something. But the doctor had, like, one, I think, when he first got you. I wish he got you again or something. I wish he survived the freaking elevator. <laughs> Which is what I thought would have happened. I thought they were gonna crush him in this elevator, and I'm like, no, he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. But no, he, he was dead, so... About Eddie's section in the game in general is that Eddie's area is ridiculously streamlined. You don't really notice it until you play or slash watch it again. <laughs> you're right and you should say it. I'll say it to the whole crowds. No, but you're right. Eddie's section is very, it's like very linear. And there's really only like one thing that you can do, I guess. I guess that's true. I didn't even try looking around when he was chasing me. Like the when you first get off of the, the buzzsaw cutscene and you have your broken leg, and you can, like, hobble around. Um, I was so busy trying to just run as fast as I can so that he wouldn't catch my little hobbling leg. Um, that, like, I didn't even bother trying to find other rooms. I don't know if there were, like, other rooms, or if it was just, like, just run straight so that you can get away from him. So, I get that. Linear. Linear was the word you were looking for? Yeah, I get that. It's like, how do you have my leg broken and I still can escape him? I don't really think so. Like, there wasn't any other rooms. I don't think so either. 
I feel like that would just serve to cause annoyance, because in the other- I, I get it if you're playing on a harder difficulty, but when you're playing on normal, which is the lowest one they have, I could, like, run into Frank one or two times, maybe, at least once, before I would get killed. So, like, if I just fucked up and accidentally ran into him in a different room, I'd be like, whoops. But Eddie grabs you and, like, kills you. So. Not rooms you can find stuff in. Yeah, exactly. So I can't- I can't- Explore, there's like no files. If there were like more files, that'd be cool. Is Outlast one or two scarier? And can a an 11 year old play Outlast? I like Outlast two more than one. This is a, a Cura. Cura? I don't know how to say that one. Anyone who says this game is acceptable for anyone below 18 is trolling you. Be warned. Yes, um, it is horrifying. And yet, Tiny was so invested in it when she was younger than 18. God, please, God, don't show an 11 year old Outlast, right? A runaway part pretty much has to be linear all the time. No, it's true. And even in the other uh, runaway parts, Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You are trying to like. I came here you can only escape one milk. way. That's very true. Kick. There's just different ways that you can kind of weave around, I guess. Finish my milk. Thank you, Bowser. I feel like as a young teen, I would have dug this. Yeah, Tiny was a. Uh, I think Tiny said that we were in high school. It was 2013. Yeah, we were in high school. We were like probably sophomore, juniorish. Oh. Oh, when I was in- totally unrelated, but when I was in, um, New Mexico. No, I wasn't in New Mexico. When I was in Arizona. Um. Oh, we went rock climbing. It was a lot of fun. We did not go to Tombstone, though, Ralph. Sorry to disappoint. Uh, we did other things instead. High school and, like, junior or senior. Okay. That makes more sense. Junior, senior. Oh, Eddie. Eddie, I already miss you! Eddie! 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 Oh. How was the rock climbing? It was a lot of fucking fun. It was so much fun, Ralph. We went to this humongous rock climbing gym, though. Like, way bigger than anything that we have here in the LA area, so... It made me, like, thirst for more rock climbing. Like, just more options, like a bigger gym, but, um, I don't really- I don't think I really have that unless I go deep into LA, and that I- I don't want to do. Traffic is bad. Oh, Outlast. We will see Outlast 2 in one billion years. Because if we're gonna play it in the order of the stream rotation, that means we have five other games at least before we see this one. And it's more like seven games, I think. I was saying that in other er characters' areas, they're like arenas or mazes. Yes, they're, they're mazes, exactly. Eddie, the way you go is basically a straight line with checkpoints. Yes, I agree. What are you waiting for, Antario? I agree though, Tiny. Yeah, I, I sense the, the difference that you're saying. Yeah, like even in like, like in the doctor's area, it was like there were different rooms that you could hide in or you could like run and hide and then you had to like time it with him and his like his movements. Eddie's, it's like he comes from where you, you're supposed to go. So you wait for him to get close to you and then you run in a straight line <laughs> away from him. There's no like, Oh, I can hide. Oh, I can, like, go in this other room, and he'll go in the other room, and then I'll slip out when he's looking. No, it's like, fucking run! So, yeah, I get that. New cable to use on your laptop. What cable? Good old Eddie. Like I said, I fucking missed that guy already. God damn, Eddie, you, you left us too freaking early in this world. I miss Ed. Bring him back. Bring him back. <laughs> I 
Daddy is daddy. No! Say it isn't true. Say it isn't true. Yo, good news. There's a whole fuckload of fan art on Tumblr. Let's fucking go. Can Do you think I can look at Outlast fan art on Tumblr, though, without... Daddy? No. Daddy. Very different. Um, do you think I can look at Outlast fan art without completely blowing away Outlast 2? That's the danger. That's the danger, I think. Last time I used it was in November. Like a charger, Ontario? I've been doing a ton of stealth in games lately. Between Talao and RE4 Remake, I used to suck at it, but now I'm pretty good at it. I don't know what changed. I don't have, like, the patience for stealth. I'll be honest. Risky? Yeah, I know. Makes more sense. I figure it's kind of risky. I don't know. Uh, Tiny, can I go through your Outlast tag on your t Tumblr? <laughs> At least I could see what Tiny reblogged way back in freaking high school. I can do that. I can make that happen. Uh, I don't know. Damn it. I wanna say yes as long as you stay in the eddy tag. Oh, true. Maybe I could stay in the eddy tag. That's all I care about. I don't care about anything else in Outlast. It's just about eddy. I'll have to look through it. I don't know what I reblogged. That's fair. Not- the, no obligation to look through what you've reblogged. Not salvageable. Damn. I don't know if I'd still have the freaking laptop then, if that were true. Probably would have gotten rid of it. Ooh, now I'm getting Five Nights at Freddy's. Drawings! Hey, we gotta get back to Five Nights at Freddy's. We have to really give the second one a proper try. Because we have not done that. Oh my god, the Christmas card that I have. I have to love my fridge still. I'm freaking... I was gonna say, these are like Joker emotes. They're so cute. I've gotten to the Sam and Michael part and only had one fight turn into a gunfight. I stealth killed all the hunters otherwise. Oh my god. How are you? You're powerful, Ralph. Sheesh. God damn. Also, it's Sam and Henry, right? I'm like, wait, I know this. I know this. How are you liking that, though? Is this this... Have you played The Last of Us before? I feel like... No. No, you haven't, right? Because you don't have a you don't own a PS4 yourself. Oh wait, but it came out on PS3 before. I don't know. Try and remember. You know, I don't see a lot of metal poles in wintertime, and even if I do, they're not, they're not cold enough to lick. Well, maybe they are. Even in California. I don't know. I don't think they are. I think if you licked a metal pole in Southern California, even in the winter, it'd be like, meh. Like, nothing would occur. It'd be whatever. Oh my god, art drawings. Art. Two drawings. I still have those myself. Mine are homestuck, of course. I'm just gonna get lost in Tiny's um, Tumblr. I'll be honest. Oh wait, actually, I want to go back. I want to go back. Okay. What page was I on? 29? Yes. Don't lick the bowl, you'll get stuck. I know. 
I watched... Uh, uh, I don't think I actually finished the movie. What's that movie with the little kid? He's like blonde. It's like a Christmas movie, I think. He's blonde and he has glasses. I think they're circles. He's little. He wants, like, uh, a toy gun for his birthday. No, for Christmas. But his mom is like, no. And his whole goal is to get that gun for Christmas. I'm pretty sure. I have so many resources. It is Henry. I played it when I came out a bunch. Okay, I was trying to remember. Because I was like, you've definitely played this. A Christmas story. <laughs> a Christmas story. I don't think I finished the movie. I really don't think I did. I think I started it. I started it late in the day. And then I was like, my mom or my... I think my dad had to go to bed. He was like freaking tired. So we stopped it halfway through. Have a good night, Bowser. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the Duolingo check. Only reason I get my Duolingo done is because you guys make me check. Um, have a lovely evening, though. Good night. Everybody can say good night, Bowser. We'll be wrapping up soonish. I say, and then I'll be here for another hour. No, no. We'll wrap up. I'd say before 10 o'clock. Get those final thoughts ready. I like that movie, but as a kid named Ralph who wore glasses and <laughs> liked gun I guns, I have a weird relation to it. <gasps> is the care is the kid's name Ralph? That's so funny. I didn't remember that. It was like the first time that I'd actually watched it, because as you guys know, I really don't watch movies, like at all. But it must have been like Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or something, and I was like really it was like rough emotionally that time of year for me. And I was like I need to do something Christmassy, right? I, I really gotta do something Christmassy, so I like put that on or something. I think I mainly played Kirby. Alright, I got this. The Scuttler and Chris Numer. Scuttling with glass skin? What the fuck is scuttling? Semi accidentally break the game a little bit. Uh, what is this? Noom slash scuttle run. Oh my god. New Year's Eve stream, cute. I will check these out. I'm assuming it's something like a speed run. They're very funny and silly. I'm gonna keep all the tabs open. I will listen to the Eddie Gluskin moaning in my ear after stream ends. Especially since we're ending so early, I'll probably do some of that. And get ready for- Get ready for class tomorrow. I keep forgetting. I have school again. He's called Ralphie. They play it on- they play it for 24 hours on TBS. Oh, do they really? I think I- I think we, like, streamed it, probably. Um... Easter is this Sunday, you guys! First of all, I don't know if we'll stream, because, uh, I, I think we'll- If I don't have field work, which I might, because it's not raining, I need you guys to do rain dances for me. Okay, please? Please? Um... But I'll probably have something with my family, so I don't know if I'll be home in time for stream. But if we did, I don't have any great Easter ideas. This time last year for Easter, we streamed uh, the ending of The Last of Us. And then we did Batman. So. Every year. This one was the one I was looking for, not the first one I posted. But <laughs> what's that one too? Okay. Here we go. Dr. Noom Trey. <laughs> oh my god. I'm excited to see what in the world they mean by scuttling. I'm assuming it's moving around very quickly or something, like, like kind of glitchy. But until otherwise, I'm just going to enjoy that. Alrighty. Oh my god, I, s I found a part where, um... <laughs> I found a- you were blogged a post about the guy that just wants it really quiet, tiny. I just saw this post. You actually don't have a lot under the Outlast tag on your 
um, Tumblr. It's like just your drawings and then that like a couple posts. My boy! Apparently he's called Gary, or at least that's the tag that you said. So what's the next game on the docket? Great question. I like two Christmas movies, A Christmas Story and Jingle All the Way. I can't even say I've heard of Jingle All the Way. I was more of a elf, Rudolph, Frosty the Snowman, um, The Grinch, Santa Claus. I loved Santa Claus when I was a kid. Oh my god, I love Santa Claus. Bro, I forgot they called him Gary. Fake fucking fan, Tiny. Can't believe this. Um, well, we still have the Dog Island, which is a really, really fun game. I don't know how long it'll take for us to get through the Dog Island. I think we got through maybe like a third of the chapters, or... I feel like it was like a third or more of the chapters of the Dog Island. I feel like it's gonna be like a three... kind of, uh, three stream kind of thing, but we'll see. It kind of depends on... I want to play it when Chaz is available, and uh, she's at a later time zone, so she can't watch as much and stuff. Oh, Jingle All The Way is so fun. Okay, let me Google that. Hold on. Nineteen ninety six. It has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Great, fantastic. Uh, I feel like I, I feel like I recognize the image. I feel like I recognize this. Oh my god, he looks so fucking excited in this image of it. That's so funny. Let me read the synopsis. Workaholic, as always. Howard Langston wants to make things up to his son Jamie and wi wife Liz. He promises to get Jamie the hottest toy of the season, Turbo Man. Even though it's Christmas Eve and the toy is practically sold out. As Langston hunts down the elusive gifts, gift, he runs into mailman Myron, another father on the same quest. With the clock winding down, Langston's moral code is tested as he starts to learn the real meaning of Christmas. How cute. I'll have to check that out. Not the Rotten Tomatoes rating. It's horrible, you guys. Oh my god, they killed this. Audience gave it 39% and the tomato meter from the critics is 19%. Oh no, you guys. They hate him. They hate the movie that you guys love. They hate it. They hate it so much. Sinbad. Rotten Tomatoes is bullshit. Rotten Tomatoes cringe. I knew you guys would say that. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes is... Is fantastic. Is amazing. Is awesome. When it agrees with me and when it doesn't, get the hell out of here. Oh my god, I keep yawning. My bad, guys. I don't know why I would be so tired. I actually slept a lot. I went to bed really fucking early yesterday. After driving. I didn't drive at all. My friend drove the whole way. But I was in the car. And then I went to bed super early and I got up for class today. Looking through Outlast, the, the, the search on my blog, and boy oh boy, some of the things I reblogged were capital K cringe. Rude. Let me use the search feature, I guess. Here. I was just looking at tagged. 15 is only- there's only 15 points. These are all for like Outlast 2. Oh, that's a cool one. Ooh, that's a cool- it said uh, Outlast Tattoo. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. That's nice. Oh wow, there's a lot of pages, never mind. I don't know why it says 15 results. It there's a lot. Oh. Okay. Now I'm getting lost in the sauce. It's bullshit when it agrees with me too. Okay. You know what? There you go. No biases. No biases from Ralph. Ralph said rotten tomatoes is crap no matter what. Whether or not I agree with it. What was I doing? I was like doing something. Oh, I was looking up Jingle all the way. Right. Hey, did the Mario movie come out? I bet you it did, didn't it? Oh, is it not yet? When does that fucking thing come out? April 5th. Oh shit, it comes out this Friday, eh? 
or like this week. Oh, Mario movie. Are you guys gonna see Mario movie? I feel like I'm not. One, I don't see movies, uh, so I'm already safe there. But two, I really, really don't want to hear Chris Pratt. I really, really don't want to hear him for an hour and a half. Uh, even though it looks like a very cutely done animated movie. Which is such a shame. I just have to watch it in the French version when it comes out on streaming. Then I can watch it. Not listen to Chris Pratt. You're telling me that Chris Pine is in Dungeons and Dragons? Nobody cared to tell me. Nobody cared to tell me that Chris Pine is in Dungeons and Dragons. I've heard good things about that one. <gasps> you guys are going to see it on Friday? Cute. You're going to have to let me know how it goes. I don't think it... It comes out on a Wednesday? Very strange. I was going to say, wait, it's Monday, isn't it? That's not Friday. Hmm. Weird for it to come out on Wednesday. I don't want to be a member of any club that'll have me. <laughs> That's fair. Rip to all the ghoul ass outlast ask blogs that were forced to deactivate because people are stupid and boring. Damn. R.I.P. They're well missed. So that's gonna suck, right? What the hell did I miss? Welcome in, nerdy. Are you gonna see the, uh, Chris Pine, my love? He's in the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Did you know? Because I didn't. A far superior Chris, exactly. Um. About <laughs> Crisp Rat. Exactly. I know. Like, the movie looks very, very cute. I hope it's well done. I just like, ugh, ugh. I don't want to, I don't want to hear him. Also, who is it that voices Donkey Kong? I saw a uh, TikTok that was like a, like a meme. It was an April Fool's joke, that's what it was. It was an April Fool's joke and it was like, um, it was like voice lines from the movie, but it was just like shit that the actors had sent like out of context. And one of them was, uh, who is the guy? Seth Rogen, that's what it is. Seth Rogen laughing. Yeah, it's Seth Rogen. And his laugh is so fucking funny, because it's... La people's laughs are so funny. But Seth Rogen's is like... It's it, it's like if a snore was a laugh to me. d d movie is fun. Have you seen it, Tiny? Chris Pratt is the worst Chris. There's so many, too. There's so many, but there has to be one that's the worst, and boy, does he take the cake? <gasps> you did! Nice. I love D&D &D and wore a gold tie at the premiere. Let's go! Hell yeah, nerdy! Looked very much like Daddy James Kirk. Bro, Kirk wishes he looked like you. I feel like Jack Black is gonna be the only good part of that movie. I know. You know what, like, uh... uh I can't rag on... I, I think, was it... Charlie Day sounds like he might be a cute voice for Luigi. Uh, I don't know what Keegan-Michael Key is going to sound like as Toad, but he's, you know, he's a comedy guy. Jack Black's cute. Uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, she, uh, Anya, right? Yeah, Anya, she, uh, gr great job in the chess. Are any of them voice actors, though? Are any of them voice actors? Hard to argue that one. It's almost like it's an animated movie and that they should pick voice actors instead of just big names. Hmm. Ooh, but don't get me started on that. Jack Black gives everything 110%. Yeah, Jack Black's very cute. Glad they got him, at least. But even then, if I if I had to choose between Jack Black and a voice actor... Not just, you know, obviously, I won't choose any fucking voice actor, but, like... This is literally their job! I might pick the voice actor, you know? Oh, Chris Pine wore gold tie. I thought you did. Oh, he looks very much like Daddy James Kirk. I was like, what? Nerdy, you didn't wear the- I can't read, apparently. I am illiterate. Oh, you just watched it on Saturday. Nice, nice, nice. Curse my mobile Twitch chat lag. Oh, curse the Twitch chat lag no matter what. I don't know how the hell you guys handle it on mobile. Like, I know you guys can't always be there with, like, a fucking laptop or desktop, but, like... If I have to watch a stream on my mobile device... I don't promise that I will, because it's aggravating. I might as well not even send a message. It's t it just takes so long. I don't know how you guys do it. It's just the rat, and I'm also not too fond of the Peach voice. I haven't. I don't think I've heard her. And if I have, it was like a really short clip, so I don't know how how she sounds. But he sounds pretty good as told. Recognizable, but still doing his own thing. Nice. Yes, get voice actors, but people want voice actors to be in the live-action version too now, and that ain't it, I know. Uh, 
In a live action version. What's a live action version of Mario? Wouldn't you love to see the, vo the voice actor of Mario as Mario in the live action? I think it would be fun. What's his name? It's like Chris Martin? No. Isn't that the guy from, um... Oh, what's that band? Coldplay? She just sounds like girl. You know what? I hate to break it to you guys. But Peach is a girl. Charles Martinet. I knew it was like... Martinet? Martinet? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. What did I say? Chris? Charles? No, I don't know. I don't know what I said. So I just have to add a little bit extra context? No, it's very fair and nerdy. I mean, I even try to do that when I'm on, um, laptop. If- if- you guys will see, sometimes I'll say something. Martinet. Okay, Martinet. Coldplay voices Mario. Confirmed. I would rather have Coldplay voice Mario than Chris Pratt. I think they would do a great job. I think all of them, together, should voice Mario. Excellent. Um, but you guys will see sometimes you guys will send a message and I'll be like, uh, I'll be processing what it was in reference to sometimes. Sometimes I get it. Sometimes I don't, you know, tit for tat. Groni had the best actor play live action Mario. Bob Hoskins, who was also the top pick to play Wolverine in the eighties. I'm going to look this guy up. There was a live action Mario. I don't even know that. Bob Hoskins. I should just copy that. I shouldn't try to remember how to spell that. That will not work. It simply won't. Oh my god, he looks great. I need to see an older image of him. Where's the Mario? Is Mario? Can I look him up and say Mario? Super Mario Bros. A 1993 film? What? Huh? What? <laughs> what? What is this? Why have I never- <laughs> Why have I never heard of this? That's so funny! Oh, why does Luigi look like that? Why does Luigi look like he's- I don't even know. Luigi's like- Hot. That's funny. Luigi looks looks like a normal- he looks like a frat boy. Luigi does. And then Mario looks like Mario. That's- that is so humorous. Luigi doesn't even have a mustache. What on God's green earth is this even about? What? Fantasy adventure film. What? Huh? I'm sorry? Why haven't I seen this? Why haven't I heard of this? Why is his name Mario Mario? Why is Mario's name Mario Mario? You're telling me Mario's last name is Mario? That means Luigi's last name is Mario. You're telling me Luigi's name is Luigi Mario? You guys are gonna look me in the eyes and you're gonna tell me that Luigi's name is Luigi Mario? Luigi Mario, that's what you're telling me right now. That's what's happening right now. Okay. Alright. It is wild and terrible. I recommend it. What is the Rotten Tomatoes of it? They are the Mario Bros. Ooh, I guess you're right. Ooh, I guess you're right, homeboy. Oh, no. He was also in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I did see that. I haven't seen that movie. But I, I saw that on, like, Google. Morio, my love. <laughs> I love the spelling there. The Mario movie was dog shit, but he was good in it. Um... This sounds amazing. I'm... I have to see this. Where can I possibly watch this? What are you on? Oh, it doesn't say it's on anything. I wonder if I can- I'm sure I can find it. Original trailer. I can't- Can't blast it. Oh my god. Like, what are the shoes they're wearing? Why they wear? Oh. And Luigi is hot. You guys are right. I think it was um nerdy that said it. Roger Rabbit. I own it. You own the Mario movie. You own the horrible, horrible Mario movie. Super Mario Bros. I want to look that up. Oh, 
Also, the fact that the new one that's coming out on Wednesday is called The Super Mario Bros. Movie, I kind of hate it. Like, shut up. Why is the movie in the title? Oh, the Super Mario Bros. 1993 only got 29%. Mm, everybody's wrong. I love the critics. Um, just, j they're just, they're reviews when they don't explain anything. One of the re one of the critics said, "Game over, man." That doesn't tell me anything. Your little witty, what you think is a witty one-liner, tells me dick about the movie, bruh. Review the movie. You're a movie critic. Review it. I don't even know. Twenty nine percent too much. Um, wrong. I think it's gonna be excellent. Queen Latifah is in it. Dennis Hopper. I don't know who Dennis Hopper is. Let me look this guy up. We're just gonna go down a rabbit hole here. Hopefully I remember to keep all these tabs open. Ooh, this guy kind of looks familiar. See, the, the trouble thing is, is that you guys will be like, this guy's in it, and I'll be like, cool. I've never seen a movie before in my life, so. American actor. Yeah, he sure is. Unless they're in uh, one of the three movies that I've seen in my life. These all look like older movies. Yeah, they're like 2000s, 90s, 80s. One of them in 68. Thank you for the booties, Minnie. The guy who plays Luigi also plays Sid in Ice Age. What? What? No. No, you're Sid. No. You're... You're telling me that the guy that voices Sid, Sid Beloved, in Ice Age, is Luigi in this movie, and I haven't seen it? I haven't seen it? I haven't seen the guy that voices, they do this every year. Why? Oh, come on. Wait. Do not tell me he voices Bruno from What's That Movie Called Again. Do not tell me that. I thought you were talking about the new Mario. No, we're talking about the 1993 Mario. No way, Charlie Day is Sid. No, he's not. No, no, no. He does- Stop. You're telling me Sid the Sloth from Encanto? No. You guys are simply lying to me right now. You guys are just telling me lies and deceit. Super Mario Bros. 1993 film. No, I clicked 1993 film, you bastard, Google. Because I know that is what I clicked. Stop it. There we go. Oh my god, it keeps doing this. 1993, stop showing me Chris Pratt's face. I don't want to see him. Okay. Here we go, Luigi. Luigi Mario. Get this son of a bitch. Ice Age. Encanto. What? Huh? No. What? What? This man is holding up our entire society with his voice. Chris Pratt, beloved? Minnie. I'm timing you out. I'm deleting that, and I will time you out. Chris Pratt detested. Chris Pratt's a nasty. No, no lovers of Chris Pratt allowed. He was also the violator in the Spawn movie. I did see Spawn, but I don't know what the hell that is. Or if you know the 1997 Romeo and Juliet, he played Tibble and Ha Hot Boy. A Creo, hello, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? No, not Chris Pratt. Crisp rat. Okay, my fucking apologies. Okay, yeah, crisp. We love crisp rats. We like rats that are like super crispy. We don't like crisp rat. You speed RE4, the remake or the original? Let me see if I miss anything. I have surgery Wednesday. <gasps> Nerdy. <laughs> the Mario movie drops will be bad. Oh, nerdy, if you genuinely do have surgery on Wednesday, I hope it goes fantastically and that everything is okay. Watched it for a night and then decided they didn't want to keep it in their house, the Mario movie? 
wrong. I think it's- I think it's already- I think it's gonna be amazing. He was in the heaping pile of shit that is the happening. Wait! Is the happening when the- wait. Is that the movie where- I can't fucking spell. This is the movie where, uh, the wind kills people, right? Yeah, they kill- they kill themselves. Zoe Deschanel is in it. Oh, he is in it. The, the main guy is Mark Wahlberg. I literally just looked up this fucking movie, like, the other day. Um, because I- I so vividly remember watching it when I was a kid. I didn't realize it was just so detested. I thought it was okay. It scared the shit out of me, bro. <gasps> you do genuinely. As a surgery resident, good luck. Yes. Everybody wish nerdy good luck on his surgery. My boy fucking apologies for quispy wats. Exactly. The movie where the plants make people hook. Yes, exactly. Yes. Also plays Max Payne in the Max Payne movie. You guys are- they, there's four actors in Hollywood, apparently. There's four. Have you not have heard of Chris Pratt? Everybody keeps calling him Chris Pratt. Oh! I- no. I kinda- this guy kinda looks a little familiar. Stinky Blue Rat is a YouTube rat. Uh, he looks a little familiar, but I have never seen actual content with him in it. I don't think. Okay. I was having trouble with, um, everyone loves me. Hell yeah, nerdy. Um, there was this movie, I swear to god, I think it was a movie, where I think it was like two people, they were in like Antarctica or something, it was like snowy, and there was like a wind turbine outside of their like place, they were like scientists or something. And they were out there fixing one of the wind turbines, and then another one broke, and this blade went, like, flying off of it, and I swear to god, it, like, cut off one of their legs or something. And then they have to, like, heal in... inside of the building from the wind turbine attack. But I also feel like there was a... there was another per- that's just May Overwatch. No, no, it's a movie! I'm pretty sure. But I'm also thinking of this different movie where there's like a woman and her toe is broken. No, that's House. That's House MD. Wait! What if what I'm describing is another House MD episode? Hold on. Twister? No. Maybe it's a House MD episode. I swear to God there's a House MD episode. Now I'm thinking about it. There's a House MD episode. A woman in a movie? Impossible. You guys are not helping me. You guys are not helping me. There's a House MD episode where a woman is in Antarctica or something. She's in some remote, icy place, and she breaks her toe, and then she's sick. And House figures out through a video conferencing that it's because of her broken toe, I'm pretty sure. But now I'm wondering if the propeller blade is the same thing. If it's also a House of the episode, and it's not a movie. I was trying to Google it. Yeah, you remember the toe episode, right? But what's with the wind turbine memory I have? There's no women actresses, only men actresses. Only Nick Cage and Wigs. Okay, but did you guys- have you guys been seeing the little ads and stuff for the new Nick Cage vampire movie? That looks like a lot of fucking fun. It's the toe, right? John Malkovich, we all know this. It's either John Malkovich or Nick Cage. How many episodes of House MD does Zag think is a movie? I really thought it was a movie. Nick Cage Vampire Slay for real, for real. He looks really fucking good in it. He looks like he's having a fun time. I think I watched like half of a trailer. I don't remember why I didn't finish it. Damn, I don't remember that. I'm a fake fan. You are a fake fan. Let's see. Broken Toe House Empty. Frozen. Oh my god, it is a House MD episode! The whole thing! 
I thought it was a movie. It's a House MD episode. A doctor stationed at an Antarctic research station saves a man from bleeding to death from a wound to his femoral artery, but then collapse clutching her chest. You think it's gonna be the guy, but it's not, it's the girl. And it's because of her fucking toe, I'm pretty certain. And House like kind of falls in love with her. I'm not even, I, I, don't, I don't know. What season is this? I need to like rewatch it. It's season four, episode 11. And there's not even that any, many episodes in season four. Wait. Who are the doctors that are in this? He, he chose the doctors in season four by the 11th episode? Why does that not sound right? This is funny. Uh, on the House MD fandom wiki or whatever, they have a zebra factor, and this episode got 5 out of 10 because it's not like super weird, apparently. Okay. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's just so satisfying. I was That was really bothering me. I was like, yesterday I was in the car googling, and I was like, woman, I was like, woman, wind turbine, snow, movie, and nothing was coming up because it doesn't work. Nick. Nikola, Nick, Nick, I can't read that. <laughs> Nicholas Dracula. To just badly describe half remember movies and we guess. I'm sorry, it wasn't even a movie, Ralph. I was really playing you hard there. I was playing the hard mode. I really thought it was a movie. I was like, I remember it from when I was like young, and it's because I watched House of D when I was like uh, 12. Like, young teenager. Pretty young. Vampire's Kiss, he did that in the 80s. Nick Cage did a different vampire movie? Great, now I got stuff to- I got studying to do, right? Season 1, 4 was the one where they switched all the doctors. Yeah, season 4 has the new ducklings. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. But wasn't season 4 the one, like, in the beginning of the season, he was like, he had like a zillion of them, you know? And he was like, oh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna test you guys to see who are the best. I didn't think that he had narrowed it down to all of, you know, just those three or whatever by episode 11. I thought it took- I thought it took longer than that. Apparently it didn't. Apparently he was like, nope, I got it, I'll figure it out. Season 4 wasn't very long. Uh, I think that was... Can I... I would love to see all of season four, but there's no link for season four. Can I look at episodes, seasons four? Here we go. Uh, shortest season. Yeah, it was the writer, the writer strike. Uh, 16 episodes. I liked season four. I think I remember liking season four because the ending episode is great. Love that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and then him trying to figure out which um, which guys he wanted to keep was fun. We need to rewatch 3.15 of House for reasons. All right, let me see. Episodes three, season three, I mean. Uh, episodes, is there like a list? You said 15? Halfwit. Oh, that's right. I kind of remember this one. I don't... I don't remember my opinion on this one. This one, it's like, half of it is obviously the patient, um, who had like an accident or something? When he was young, so he has the... the mentality of a young child or something, but he's an adult... But also House is like... I don't... It's my fate for shipping reasons! Oh, well I don't remember those. I don't remember those very well. And Cutner! Yeah, how could we forget freaking Cutner? Nerdy. God. Is the last episode was shot on a Canon 5D DSLR and no one would shut up about it for years. Why? Why, Ralph? Ne now I need to know. If you want unhinged Nick Cage, watch Vampire's Kiss. That shit is wild. 
apparently they really liked what he did in that movie and they were like, we gotta bring you back as a vampire again. Yeah, that one. That was like season six. It's the shortest season. Season five is my enemy for reasons. I think I might remember the reason. Someone who never watched House out of outside of random episodes, is it worth watching? Yeah, I, I like it. I like it, Ralph. It depends, obviously, like what you are looking for in a show. Um, when I was a kid, I really liked it because it's kind of, you know, I, the, I think the, um, what's it called? The inspiration and the idea with it is that it's, it's supposed to be kind of like Sherlock Holmes. Um, in that each episode there's like a patient because it's a doctor medical show there's a patient with something really weird going on and nobody can figure it out what it is but house and his team does so it's really interesting to kind of watch the medical kind of mystery behind it that was what i really liked when i was a kid and obviously shipping the characters together but um the drama within the characters is also can be fun i i remember really having a tough time with uh, one of the characters Mainly because I was so fixated on my ships or whatever, but I would love to rewatch it now with more of an open mind. Um, and obviously, as I'm a lot older, I think it's it's probably been over a decade since I really properly watched it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I watched it in like middle school, so it's been a long time. Yeah, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes, but with doctors. So like the medical mystery is interesting. Um, the drama, if you're into like. Like, there's romantic drama or whatever. Like, you know, if you're interested in that. But I really liked it for uh, the medical mysteries. Was a stills camera that happened to take really good HD video. It was one of the first pro productions to use it. Oh, neat. I still have my hyper fixation ships, right? I was still in my hetero phase when I first watched it. So I could really try watching it again. I know, Tiny. No, I know. Like, I... Like I said, I, I really liked or disliked certain characters because of how I wanted the characters to be, like, like shipped or whatever. Um, but I would really just like to watch it now, especially with more, like, life knowledge or whatever, you know. Not that I have a ton of it now, but um, I think seeing the, the relationships between different characters that I might have overlooked would be really interesting, too. I don't want to- and I want to watch it and not be a cuddy hater, bruh. I want to like her this time. Maybe- maybe I won't like her, you know? Maybe she- I just will always stay disliking her, but... Um... Alright! Time to start watching House MD! I still have every- I think I have every season on DVD. It's back when buying DVDs was worth it. On a scale of Lucy Lou Sherlock to Burn Notice, what should I expect? I'll tell you, I haven't watched either of those. Maybe somebody else can give you a better scale. I think my mom liked Lucy Lou Sherlock. But I've never seen Burn Notice, and I've never watched the Lucy Lou Sherlock myself. Things will make more sense now than they would watching as a kid. Yes, I think that would be fun too. I uh, I had fun... It's been a while since I tried to rewatch watch um, Grey's Anatomy, but I also watched that a lot when I was like 12. Like 11. And like I kind of understood things like... Like, one of them would cheat on another. One of them got pregnant, but she, like, got an abortion or whatever. And, like, I understood what that was. I might have been a little older, maybe, like, 13. But I, I understood what it was. But, like, the drama behind it, I didn't comprehend until when I watched it, like, a few years ago. I was like, what? With him? With her? Like, I was, like, really, really dug it a lot more, I think, watching it when I was older. Also, it's never lupus, of course. A lot of the jokes will land more, and I probably would like Cuddy more. No, I agree. I agree as well. Like, a lot of the jokes would land more. I think a lot of the drama would hit harder. And I would probably just like the characters a lot more, or have more of an opinion on them for the character that they are, instead of, like, how they relate to other characters in, like, a shipping kind of fashion. Well, now I really want to rewatch it. I just started watching uh, season 9 of Love Island, but I could shift gears. I remember liking Cuddy a lot, but I also remember liking Taub a lot, which looking back, I'm kind of brow raising at. Oh my god, freaking Taub. Because I think uh, Taub and Kuttner's relationship, I think, was was what's interesting, I think, about Taub. Maybe not Taub on his own. I don't remember really well. 
I loved Burn Notice up until the last season. That's the thing too, I remember when I was a kid, I really liked House, and then it was like somewhere in season like seven or eight or something, it kind of like felt like it was, you know, like... Like it, it just kind of blows up or something. Um, yeah, season seven like has a relationship that I really did not like when I was a kid. I was like, this is horrible. It doesn't make sense. I hate them. I hate these characters. Blah, 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 blah. But that's the thing with later seasons of a show too, is that it does kind of derail, I feel like. You get to a point where it's like, yeah, what, what is the show anymore, bro? What is this show? This isn't the show I signed up for. But I think that happens a lot in a lot of shows, so. Expect fun, witty jokes, early 2000s humor, so some tongue-in-cheek humor that wouldn't fly now, and malpractice, always. I was more of a Scrubs fan, but that show was not aged well. I never really watched, sat down and watched Scrubs. That's the one with, um... Yeah, yeah, I know, I know Scrubs. I think I've seen a couple episodes. Cameron Lover 3000! Yeah, I remember, nerdy. But Tao was kind of a shit. Yes, I think he was. American TV shows run for too long. They really do. You're not wrong. They really do. They kind of outlast themselves and it's like, <gasps> Outlast? What? Um. It's like they, it's like they kind of run out of things to do with like the first, like they do the first few seasons and they're like, this is good. This is good, but we can't do this. Like whatever the formula is. They're like, we can't do this for 10 seasons. And so then they like add new characters. They take away people like actors come and go, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And then it just, you lose it. Or the characters aren't as fun or you, you're not as invested. It's kind of like, it's definitely like that with Grey's Anatomy. That shit's so fucking long. The, um, like, the first few seasons of Grey's Anatomy are great, and then the characters change, and you're like, okay, they're still good, I still like them, and then the characters keep changing, and you're like, okay, okay, this is a completely different lineup than we had in season one, which is kind of weird. He was in-house? What? When? What episode? What could he be doing? Yeah, I want to rewatch House. Not like British shows like Doctor Who. <laughs> How long has fucking Doctor Who been going on? Shit! Comes less about the medical mysteries and more about the Doctor's personal lives the farther I went on. And that's what I didn't like when I was a kid, and I think that I might still feel that way. Um, Cause like, okay, if I want to watch a drama, I'll watch fucking Grey's Anatomy. I remember being a kid and watching House and it slowly stopped being about the patients, yeah, and more about the characters' personalities and relationships, and while that is interesting and I liked that, it was like, I'm here for the freaking medical mystery, bruh. If I want to watch drama, I will watch a drama, but this is a freaking drama, so what can I expect? I think this year it'll be 60 years old. Damn! He was Alfie. That's right. I remember loving Alfie. I think I liked Alfie. I liked Alfie a lot. That part of the show is a little weird, but I think I liked Alfie if I remember correctly. Oh, Alfie. Now I gotta go and watch the first episode where everybody's really orange. I don't know if it was the lighting on like my TV or the DVD or something, but the first episode I remember being very orange. It was like they did not go through visual editing. Somebody was like, no, 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 they look fine. And then they didn't. It didn't age well. It debuted the day after Kennedy got shot. Wow! The UK was like, that's rough, US, but look. Here's a TV show to hold you over for the next 60 years. That's insane. Bro, I don't remember anything. You don't remember the orange people? I truly blocked everything out. You don't remember Alfie? I remember Alfie. He was it was when he was in the like the mental hospital. I can't tell you what fucking season he's in there, but he's in there. Alfie's there. There's like a girl. There's like a girl character. I feel like she's blonde. 
I think Wilson took him there? I don't I don't remember anything! I guess you gotta rewatch it. It'll be like a brand new fucking show. They said it's the pilot. Fuck color correction. They were like, it's good. If we get the pass, if we get the green light, then we'll do the color correction. The fake orange tan was really popular. It was like the whole... Ralph, if you watch any episode of House, you gotta watch episode one. Just so you can see everything. It wasn't the people. It was everything. Everything looks like you're wearing orange sunglasses. You're like, bro, I forgot to take off my orange sunglasses. It's Tuesday. It's the day that I tell you that I like you. I want to get a drink with you. See, that sounds really familiar. Nerdy obviously has the best memory out of all of us, but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it as a win that I remember more than Tiny. I never remember anything more than anybody, but I'm remembering things when they're told to me. I don't think I could have pulled Alfie out of my butt, but you know. I am thinking of, I don't know the actor, but I'm thinking of Cuddy's little guy. Don't know his name. Her little guy. I liked him. Also, they had a kid? Where'd they get that kid? Was that Cuddy's child? Did she give birth to that child? Who was that guy? Who was the little girl? What was that? They threw a tungsten filter on it and went, Good enough! <laughs> and it was. It was a riveting first episode, and it got the green light for eight seasons. Well, when a man and a woman- But which man and which woman? I don't remember. I'll watch it until that one episode in season five, and then I will stop. Well, Alfie was after that episode in season five, I'm pretty sure, so. I forgot how- how your fave gets lost. I don't remember. I remember how one of the characters gets- wrote off, but not all of them. Rachel Cuddy? Rachel's the little girl's name? The little kid? Guess I'll never see Alfie! Just skip that episode and you'll be fine. Yeah, I don't remember how he happens. It's gonna haunt me, but I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. Don't tell me. I want to rewatch it and find out. I remember how another character dies, and that's like the whole season finale, and it was like really intense, but... Rachel adopted kid. See, I don't remember the adoption portion. But what's her man's name? What's the guy's name that she's like with for like a while? Like a long- like- like a while. And I say a while, like a long time. For a show, it's probably like a single season. Lucas! Oh, I got- oh. Oh, I remember loving Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Oh, God, I'm about to- Okay, now you, now I'm gonna disappear. You guys were like, where's Zagbu? Because I didn't post that I was on vacation properly in the Discord. But now I'm just gonna disappear and rewatch all of House. You guys won't see me until I'm done. <laughs> Who is Lucas? He sounds so familiar. He's Cuddy's guy. I don't know anything- I don't remember anything else about him. But he dates Cuddy for like a long time. I don't remember much of anything else. Zag and I are gonna stream house together with Tiny. Bro, honestly. Episode is the inspo for one of my favorite house fanfics. See? Something good comes out of it. Going back to our roots. Oh. House is a fun show. Yeah, I, I recommend it, Ralph. I had fun with it when I was a kid. I can I can only recommend it as like a young teenager. Young teenage Zagwu can tell you that it's a lot of fun, but I haven't I haven't watched it in so long, but I might I might now. Uh, let's see. Can I find it streaming on anything? It's on Apple TV for free! Peacock. Uh, it's not clear. Wow, these bitches look old! When did Hugh Laurie get this horrible picture? He looks fine in other pictures, he just looks like a nice old man. One of these pictures, he looks terrible. Aged. Not that he looked, you know, fucking... 20 years old in House MD. How old is he? He's 63! These poor guys always get pictured so terribly. That's right, he was in fucking Stuart Little. I forgot about that. Okay, here we go. I'm getting derailed. Mm, yeah, me oh! Amazon Prime Video. It just says subscription, so I wonder if you could watch it on Amazon Prime. 
I have the DVDs, but I don't have a DVD player in my room. Or on my laptop. On Apple TV, hell yeah, yeah, it said Apple TV, uh, Peacock, and Amazon Prime Video, I believe. I'm following 0% of this. No, because you haven't watched it, Ralph. We all watched it. We all- I don't- it sounds like Tiny didn't finish the show, but, uh, I think me and Nerdy have definitely seen the entire show. It was an alternate and better take on the episode. Excellent. It was, like, one of the first fandoms that I- well, not one of the first, I guess. Like, Sly Cooper and Fairly Odd Parents was up there, but... This one was, like, one of the first big ones I really got into. I'll find it. Hell yeah, Ralph! <laughs> That emote is so cute, though. It's so cutely hand-drawn. Bree, not afraid, Wilson. I did not finish it. I didn't think you did. Based on this explanation. I would have said that you did finish it. Just forgetting that, um... Cutting her goes through all that. I live-tweeted the finale. Bro, when did the finale come out? I- I- I don't- I don't know if I watched the finale like as it came out. I kind of had gotten away from it at that point, I feel like. 2012. I was in freaking high school already, crazy. I was like really into it in middle school. 7th grade, 8th grade. Oh, yep, there's Alfie. How many episodes? Episodes. All right, I'm getting derailed. Let's do final thoughts. It's almost 10.30. It'll be 10.30 by the time I'm done. What is everybody's final, final thoughts? We've derailed so far away from Outlast DLC. I never answered Tiny- No, I did. Um, right now the streaming rotation is the Dog Island. Um, we are getting votes for Dead Space. I think it would be fun to stream it. Um, it's kind of like an oddball game, like it's kind of coming out of nowhere, but, um... I think it would be fun to stream it, so that might enter rotation next, so we would have Dog Island and Dead Space. And that will give me time to perhaps get my hands on Tiny's Sly Cooper 2 copy. I gotta arrange that with her. Then we could do that. Once we finish Dog Island, the next um, Chaz game would be Madagascar or Cars. So, all of those are kind of there. Oh yes, thank you for the camera thing. Oh god, I accidentally clicked Tiny. Rooster started using the 5D extensively for shooting the series because of the camera's excellent balance of small size and high quality. I love that the, the wiki source for it is just so small though. I'm like, what? I want to know. In very small spaces that were not accessible with a 35mm camera, much of season 7 was shot on the camera as well. But not season 8. I was just looking at the pictures though of season 7 and I was like, wow, it looks so different than like season one and two gives it a completely different vibe like i know you're gonna upgrade your cameras and stuff as as the show goes on because it takes years to develop but like i don't know i feel like there's something to be said for like sticking with a similar feeling camera if that makes sense it's like i saw a post on um i don't know if anybody watches it because i don't really don't i don't really i've seen a few episodes but um it's always sunny in philadelphia the first few seasons are like dark and the cameras are bad and it's grungy and then like the latest seasons right now it's like all super bright and like high quality and it's just it's like a different vibe like you could still do the original kind of quality things with like a nicer camera but like the lighting is kind of different too not enough naked boys nerdy look we had 86 naked boys how is that not enough how could that possibly not be enough I- we're drowning in naked boys. I was sobbing. Yeah, the- see, the series finale is fun. It's fun to say. Watch bits and pieces of the later seasons, but not the whole things. Time to watch the whole thing. There are fanfics to be read, but yeah, yeah, Whistleblower and Eddie were so much fun, Tony. Never enough. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Did you get your fill of naked men? We sure did, I'd like to say. I used that same model camera from the first season of Always Sunny in film school. Oh my god, see, Ralph? And we lost that now in the newer seasons with whatever camera they're using now. But no, Outlast and Outlast Whistleblower was really fun. And I know I said it 18 billion times and I am biased right now But since I just finished it. But I really liked the, the Whistleblower DLC. I think it was like a really fun length. It had some fun moments and 
uh, really fun characters and stuff like that. But yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to Outlast 2 in 800 billion years after we play a bunch of other games. Uh, a lot of games, actually, it's like... Well, no. Uh, Bioshock Infinite will be the last Bioshock. Walking Dead Season 4 is the last Walking Dead. That's kind of insane. But if we do all the things that are going to enter rotation soon, we have quite a ways until then anyway. So, nerdy sending me things. We do have to watch House for real, for real. You're so right. An HVX 100. It sucked. I'm sure it did. I can't imagine it was good. Just because it was really old. Alright. I can feel the urge to pee again coming in. It's because of all the water. The DSLR I own, Canon 7D, was also used for shots in the Avengers. <gasps> and a bunch of shots in the last season of Breaking Bad. I was just gonna say, like, I was trying to think of what Breaking Bad looked like in season one versus the season I'm in now, which is five. It's last season. Um, but I don't remember there being, like, a, di a big quality jump or anything like that. Might not have been. It's not as big of a time skip. Um, I really gotta finish Breaking Bad. I'm about to jump into the open arms of House MD, sees eight seasons of joy and I haven't even finished Breaking Bad. I gotta do that. I think I got like s nine? It's either six, nine, or sixteen episodes left, but I feel like it's nine. I think it's nine. Something like that. Mostly shot on film, but certain shots were done on digital. So I don't know the difference. I'll be honest. That's a big can of worms to open for Ralph. To describe the difference between film and digital, but this is my first time going through it. Yes. My first time watching Breaking Bad. It's a lot of fun. It's hard to spot. Okay. I can imagine. Um, not to spoil it for anybody, uh, but I just witnessed a big momentous moment, which is not detailed enough for you guys to know what I'm talking about. Even those of you that have seen it. Maybe. I'm like halfway through it. Um, it's interesting to see how they're going to wrap up, or they might not wrap up every character, but uh, how they're going to wrap up in this final season each character's stories. So watching that has been fun. But it's been a long time since I watched an episode. It was like a long time where I didn't watch an episode and I watched one, and then I, I haven't watched it in a while again. The <laughs> littlest bit of context. Like I said, it's interesting to watch the characters' stories be wrapped up in Season 5. I can't give any more details. Because lest you think I'm, taking, I'm talking about something else and you spoil something for me, or I spoil something for someone else. As if there's any other bitches out there that hasn't watched it. I'm the only bitch in the entire world that hasn't watched Breaking Bad before. I tried when I was younger when it was first coming out, but it was too sad or something. I don't know. You have to take my lack of context. <laughs> You're welcome. I just have to report back when I'm actually done with it. Let's see. Let me look. Let me look what episode I'm on. Oh god, it's gonna play things. Do mute tab. Okay, it didn't, but I was afraid. Um. But continue watching. Oh, that's right. I started watching Inside. I forgot I was doing that. It's going good. We're try I'm wrapping up right now. Well, within a minute or two. Our, our character actually survived, which was surprising. Yeah. Thought that was neat. Oh, yeah. Definitely my gameplay. I died ten times. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nighty night, dead. I don't want to spoil. I will tell you the episode number that I just watched. That I watched the last one I watched. Uh, season five. Um. 
I think I just watched Seven. It's called Say My Name. Yeah, I think... I think that's the one I just watched. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have nine episodes left. Okay. Yeah, that shit's stressful. But I'm looking forward to uh, getting back to it, and I am looking forward to watching Better Call Saul. So. Oops. Now I'm gonna look up and see if House is on Prime Video. As I'm waiting for Ralph's final, final thoughts. Uh, it looks like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it looks like they're all on there. Oh, Prime Video. If you have that. Its tags are drama and suspense. I wonder what the option options of tags are. Why are these texts? Why is it so big on my screen? It's like I'm blind. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's that episode. See, there is your beloved context. But it, w it was fun. It's a... Uh, I really like Breaking Bad. I'm having a lot of fun with it. But I'm not going to get into that because I do want to log off. <laughs> so, I'm going to change my screen so that I can leave. It is a good one. Yeah, that's a good episode. I really had a lot of fun with that episode. I don't remember everything that happens in it. Because I'm telling you, I think it's been weeks since I watched it. But I am close to the end. It's crazy. Feels like just yesterday I was watching episode back to back to back to back. I was like binging the early episodes. And then I've been like nursing the later ones more. So. That's yeah, a fun one. Really like Breaking Bad. Anywho, I'm waving. I'm going to bed. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, thank you guys all for tuning in for Outlast. I hate my viewers. Of course it's that freaking... That goddamn... Of course it is. Um, thank you guys for tuning in for Outlast Whistleblower DLC. And some chatting, because the DLC was so, so short. Um... I had a lot of fun with Outlast and the DLC, though. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but we are closing the door on Outlast and its DLC. We still have Dog Island in rotation, so that's probably what you guys will see next. But I will do. A, I'll probably do polls. Um, entering rotation will likely be Dead Space remake. I'd say Sly Cooper 2, Madagascar, and Cars are all on the horizon as well. So those might be options um, that come into play. Thank you, Ralph, for tuning in. Um, and everybody else, of course, always hanging out and chatting and vibing and enjoying the naked men together. Um, I think I had like a thought here. Oh, I keep talking about the stream schedule maybe changing. I'm kind of eyeing my Excel sheet and I'm thinking about it. As always, if I do want to change it, I'll slap it up into the polls. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and it'll be blasted in my announcements as well. So you will not be shock you will not be blindsided it will be announced many times but until then i will see you guys on friday unless that changes um have a fantastic week enjoy the first proper week of april yahoo and i will see you guys later until then i'm tucking you into bed kiss you on the forehead Mwah! and i'm gonna lock your door so that eddie doesn't get you don't worry i will keep you safe from him nighty night bye bye